Hello? Hello? I need some noise. I can see this is working. Perhaps not. Let me see. Ah. First. It does work. What's up, Bobby? How we doing? Man, this guy said, what up, fat dandrift? Holy shit. What a great way to start the day. Hey. Ty for carrying liftathon. Thank you, S fan. Thank you. Thank you, S fan. How we doing? I did carry the liftathon. It's true. The creator of all. I am the creator of all. Man, just keep it coming, guys. More, more, more. Amazing. Let's go. Yo. Yo. All right, let's do an intro. We'll get started, okay? Let's do a nice intro that no one's ever seen before. Brand new intro. Here it is. This is me. If 
I'm going out, if I'm going out to the club, check the red shoes. Check the red shoes. What do you think? I'm going to the club. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. How's the lovely chat doing? How we doing, everyone? Is everyone having a great day? Kaz Roy, thanks for the gifted sub. 44 ZBX, thanks for the resub. Ashley, thank you for the 25 months. Appreciate that. Adri, thank you. KJ, thank you. Exaler, thank you. Stodgy, thank you. Robin, thank you. Jay Quez, thank you. Pinoy, thank you. Uh, Deltia, thank you. And then we have S-Fan, of course, of course. Blondie Wandy with the raid. What's up, Blondie Wandy? How we doing? Thank you so much for the raid. Appreciate that. Good way to start the morning. Got a fresh raid in there. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, Aqua Beach, thanks for the resub. Curve Slayer, thank you. Um... Uh, Jay Starfall, thank you so much. Uh, Match and Mitchie, thank you for the prime. How are we doing, guys? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How was your Sunday yesterday? Your day off yesterday? Was it uh was it good? Did you guys have a fun one? Hopefully. Please, no more cases. Uh, yeah, we're not doing cases today. Not doing cases today. Uh, it's Lamashu. Thanks for good the prime. Morning, thank NMPL. you. Thank you. Salty. Thank you. FIFO says I got high, really good, looking good today. Thank you, thank you. I'm feeling good, Two man. Two years gone, Satch. What? There we go. Any muscle soreness? Yeah, I'm really sore from the lithathon, guys. Five I was putting in a whole bunch of effort there. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, really good, really good. It was super awesome. Yeah, lithathon was great, dude. Lithathon was great, man. Uh, <laughs> man, I'm so sore from all that lifting I was doing. It was crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. Yeah. Such a scumbag. Yeah, it's, um, I think it's funny. Yeah, Lakers or Warriors. Oh, it's crazy because my two favorite teams are playing against each other, but I'm rooting for the Lakers just because I, I want LeBron to win. So, uh, yeah, my two favorite teams are playing. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> someone goes, shut the fuck up, you bum ass. You didn't lift a jack shit. That's true. That's true. That's true. But you got to admit, I was being very funny. So NMPL. Yeah. It's all about the comedic timing there, guys. You know, comedic timing. And I brought McDonald's too. So got, someone has to be the, the anti-hero. And, you know, it's I guess it's me. Yo, Lauren, thank you for the resub. How you doing? Thank you for the prime. Uh, Nick, please, I need you to say, chat, am I dumb? Press one for intro sample. Chat, am I dumb? Press one. Yeah, there we go. I said it. Hopefully you get that clip. Uh, wow, I guess chat's actually pressing one. Real mature, guys. Real mature. Uh, yeah, Sunday was good. I went for a morning run, and then I watched Steph cook the Kings. It was a hell of a day for the Warriors. 
LeBron going down in six. Yes, Cap. Yeah, AD is going to destroy that entire squad. Looney does nothing on AD. It's over. Um, yeah. The, the Lakers are just way too deep. Zaxby's is good. Zaxby's is, is all right. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. I got the Ultra Cyber Nude. We got the Ultra. This, this thing's always telling me about my workout. The only, the only day I hit my workout goals was on the Liftathon. That was the only day since I've gotten this watch that I hit the workout goal. Or the, it's not even the workout goals. It's the movement goals. You know, that was the only day I hit the goal. It was, it was just movement. And apparently all you have to do, you literally just have to walk for like 30 minutes. Are you sore from the liftathon where you am. stared at the weights the whole time? I am. Must have been hard to lift all those fries into your gullet. Yeah, it was rough, dude. It really was, man. Yeah. How are you a fan of the Warriors and Lakers? Because I'm really a fan of the Pistons, but they suck. So there we go. Yeah. Offline chat played against GGX offline chat and we won. <laughs> really? How do you guys even set that up? Oh, that's funny, man. Yeah. You see the Bruins knocked out of the first round. I saw the Bruins have been deleted by the Panthers. So, yeah. A lot, lot of good sports going on, guys. If you're not into sports and you're into depression, you should probably look to switch switch uh, subjects and get into sports, man. A lot of good sports going on, dude. You know, you got, you got hockey playoffs, basketball playoffs, baseball's uh, kicking in, football's going to get started up here soon, so... You know, a lot of fun stuff going on, man. Super awesome. It really is, dude. Uh, S-Fan in the ice bath made me laugh. Yeah, S-Fan was about to die in the ice bath. Uh, Dad took it like a champ, and Bonnie just Bonnie also took it like a champ, too. S-Fan was about to die. It wasn't even that cold. I put Morning, my hand Nikki in there. Blue, that shit was no problem. Is all right. Yeah, I could have done that, too. You know, yeah. There we go. Someone said your birth was, was comedic timing. Yo, fuck you, dude. Yo, Brew House, thanks for the 15 months. Appreciate that reset there. By the way, guys, we need about 4,000 subs today. So I expect some gifters, get the credit cards out, get to swipe in here. You know, we get it going, man. Yeah. Yeah. Someone says, you were surprisingly energetic towards the end of that stream. What happened? Well, everyone left, so someone had to do something. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, people weren't actually supposed to be there that long anyways. You know, it was just like, uh, it was supposed to be come and lift and sure. leave. You know, it wasn't supposed to be like an all-day sort of thing. But I stayed the whole time because it was fun. So, plus I didn't really lift too much. So I had extra energy at the end of the day. Hey, so, yeah. Jason. Yeah. My name is I work in a button, have a wife, what? three kids, and a family. Hmm? One day my boss came up to me. He said, Joe, are you busy? I said, no, he said to push this button with your right hand, the Venga Buzz. Is now Columbus. Uh, Bort, we have no idea what you're talking about, man. He, Not a single clue. My sub. I leave. Yeah, there we go. Now. Yeah, there we go. Back. Next. Month. Uh, Black Wolf, thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll see you next next month, buddy. Uh, it was funny the first time, the other Who? times you made the same joke. No, see, that's the thing, Drunken. Uh, it gets funnier over time, and I had a conversation with uh, the people involved, and we all agreed that it was funnier each time, and we are the comedic geniuses here. So, um, yeah, yeah, it was hilarious. Dude, you can't tell me it wasn't. Yo, Fink, thanks for the prime. Appreciate that as well. Yeah, uh, Frogan, Bonnie, Emily, and Imaru lifted more than you. Yeah, but, like, who provided them with french fries? I did. So everyone was eating my nuggets. You know, I ordered four nuggets. And you know, the real truth is I ordered all that food, but I ordered it for myself. I didn't even order it to share, but everyone just saw the McDonald's and they all just ate it. So I didn't even get to eat any nuggets. I just had some fries, you know, it is what it is. And a burger, but you know, we really wanted the yeah, there we go. We wanted the nuggets though. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. OTK doing what they always do. Leaning on others to achieve so the their drunk, goals. So Thanks, drunk, lack, so wake, and myth. See you next That's month right. for more soda drunk. Yep. Thank you, uh, the Slack. Thank you for the resub there. There we go. Yeah. Um, is part of that gym bit the fact that it's painfully superfluous? Super. I don't even know what that word is. I'm gonna uh, superfluous. Never heard that word before. Uh, butter less toast. Thanks for the three months in a row. Appreciate that, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it rained all day in New Jersey and my basement flooded. Oh, that sucks. Maybe you should uh. Defend against the rain a little bit better there, buddy. Our basement here is never flooded, so Omega Lol. Nah, I'm kidding. Um, uh, who, there's a dog coming up here. Oh, it's the Schmogus. How do you even find your way up here, buddy? He's out of breath from coming up the stairs. See, this is what happens. You don't run the stairs anymore. You know, you get out of breath because you're an old Schmogi. And he just sat down. Plop. All right, there you go. Welcome to the room, yeah. Uh, why do you wear Apple Watch if you don't work out? It's just in case I have a heart attack. It can call. It can call somebody if I die. So, 
You know, at least people will know about it. That's why we wear it, you know. Yeah. Can't wait for the new intros. Same. Same, same, same. Uh, you gonna work on your movement? What? There we go. Um let me see here. Austin Reeves and Hachimura have been great assets. Oh yeah. And Russell too. Great, 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 great. Uh day oh seven of ice of nice play for MK. We always play Mario Kart. Play Mario Kart every day, man, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. We do need I need to get to the gym though today for sure, if it's possible. Uh how dare you say that you was gonna do lifting and not do any for the kids cherry so rude. No, that's not what happened. I I did lift stuff. The camera just didn't film me. So it's just it's a shame. In fact, I'm willing to say that I lifted more than everyone. But it was just off camera. You know, the camera guy just never filmed me. Kind of sad, really. I probably put up at least fifty thousand pounds myself. So yeah, there we go. Uh, someone says, are these events the only time you hang out with Soda anymore? Pretty much. I, I don't really see them, you know, uh, too much anymore. It's kind of sad. It's mostly my fault, though. I don't, I don't really reach out, you know, but uh, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Uh, I just kind of sit here and do my own thing, Dad really, just in this chair. Chance is the same son. thing, too, but, you know, we're just kind of hermits, man. We're always just hermits. We just do our own thing. We just hermit around, you know. Since your yeah, lips what didn't it is, yeah. get on camera, can we get a gym stream? Uh, maybe, maybe we go to Wake or something on Wednesday or something like that. We'll see. Uh, we do need to get back to the gym though, for sure. Yeah. Hey Nick, I haven't seen your stream for a year. Yeah. Last time I watched, I was broke, mm -hmm. no friends and no girls. Mm -hmm. Now I have a job, but yep. still broke. Yep. Glad to see you haven't changed either. Not a bit, dude. Nothing ever changes, dude. Except for uh, my passion just dwindles down over time. So. Um, yeah, Nick, I got a knife on my first 10 cases the other day. I don't even want to hear it, dude. I think I'm just tired of it, dude. I'm, we've spent probably more than everyone. I haven't got a single knife. So, um, it is something else, dude. Yeah. Someone says I'll gift a sub for every pound you lifted on Saturday. Oh, wait. Oh, see, that's the thing. I did lift pounds, but you guys probably tuned out, you know, before, before we got there. So yeah, there we go. It is what it is. Lakers in seven. I think Lakers in six, to be honest, dude. That's yeah. what I think. So that's my prediction. Yeah, extra Emma lifted more than you. Yeah, she also smacked her head on the table. Now she has like uh, internal bleeding. Uh, Pat. It was inspiring that OTK put the leaf to thon together and did so much for charity. Total amount lifted was one hundred and forty thousand pounds. OTK members lifted fifteen k of those. Impressive. God. Well, I mean, Miz wasn't feeling good, so like we really expected, we expected Miz and F S Fan to do the m majority of the lifting, but <clears throat> S Fan's injured, and Miz wasn't feeling well. Asvin can't lift shit. Chance can't lift shit. Uh, Imaru and Emily can't lift shit. Tecton wasn't feeling good. I'm lazy as fuck, so I'm not sure where people thought we were gonna get any of this lifting done from. You know, <laughs> so it just wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> You know, it really wasn't like there. Was, I don't know where we can get the poundage in from, so it just wasn't gonna go down. So we had lack, lack went in there. You know, yeah, there we go. Yeah, but it is what it is. It was a fun event. We all had fun, so you know, it really was. Um, you would have cramped up instantly reaching for the bars. What bars? Um, NMP seven. Yeah, you provided zero nutrition that day for the guys, just garbage-ass food. Are you saying McDonald's is garbage-ass food? McDonald's is delicious, dude. Healthy, and, and, you know, it's really good, you know? Yeah. So it was awesome. Also, I fixed the backpack, too, dude. It was having some issues, you know? Apparently, the cable was scuffed, so I fixed the backpack there. So I, I, I did my cr contributing, you know? I did. I did my contributing. Mario Kart today? Yeah, we can play some Mario Kart. I'm down. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, please do a subathon. I I will never do a subathon. I just I couldn't I could that is that sounds like punishment to me. That sounds like punishment, dude. My problem is that I, I like I don't have that sort of like that un unwavering passion, dude. You know, yeah. I just don't. Mm, lol. It's unlucky. Uh, Elden Ring. What? Uh, when are you guys going to induct Wake into OTK? That man is funny and will be a great person to join. Oh, yeah. Wake's great, dude. Wake's great. Uh, 101 Toad, thanks for the Prime. Thank you as well. Doc Blue, thank you for resubbing as well. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm going 
south back down from the Upe. Any recommendations in Michigan? No, there's nothing to do in Michigan. But, um, you know, yeah, <clears throat> you can go there. Hang out if you want. Hardcore WoW with Milena. You want me to do Hardcore WoW with Milena? I I don't even, I don't think she could focus on that game. I don't think, I don't think we could even get to level 15. It's just not, it's just, it would just, it would just never happen, dude. You know, if I, if I really needed to sit here, and let's say I needed to stream like 400 hours in a month, if I had for some reason needed to do that, then maybe we'd do that. But, you know, I don't know. I don't need to burn hours that much. Um... Yeah, there we go. Someone says, Nick sacrificed his own physical fitness for your entertainment. Why give him a hard time? Thank you, Jobber. Someone give Jobber a fucking sub for understanding what happened. Yeah, there we Nick go. Nick is right. Nothing ever changes. Yes. Rhyme is always the special guest. Yes. Do a reverse subathon so you can go to sleep earlier than usual. True. Um, We could do that if you wanted to. Miz doing 20 reps each, hands of 30, 35 pounds was crazy. Yeah, Miz is ripped as fuck. He's super strong. He's always been super strong. Um, that's our streamer. That's right. That's right. Um, someone says, oh man, I was going to rim you about not caring about children in hospitals, but then I had no idea you have heart problems. What? I don't have heart problems. Do I? Yeah. Hi, NMP of Voil. Can I be real? Your autoban of the word content is really harshing the chat vibe. I was about to write a positive message featuring the word content, but now you will never see it. Love. Buddy, buddy, stop acting tough. I mean, you could have just donated it instead, and we, we all would have heard it, you know? We all would have heard it. You can always just put, like, con hyphen tent if it's really that big of a deal so yeah that could happen what's my gym numbers not good man not good when will you be a guest on the steak and eggs podcast i was supposed to be a guest one day but then i didn't go so maybe i'll be a guest on there next time they need me or something like that you know what i was thinking about doing i was thinking about making a podcast where i actually give my my legit takes on things you know because i always sit on the fence but I can hop off the fence on the podcast, you know, and then everyone have to go to the podcast to hear my takes. But then people bring it up on stream. I'll never acknowledge it. Cap. So it will force people into uh, the podcast. Now, that's a good idea, huh? That's a good idea. Nick, what's your hottest take? Uh, I don't have any hot takes. But if you check the podcast out, there might be some hot takes. Yeah. There we go. Train spent 12k to get a knife. Jesus. Um, that's not worth it. Let me see here. Uh, when will we know who's on Elevated? Oh my god, Elevated is Wednesday. Monkus! We gotta put in some practice for Elevated. It's going to be super fun. Yeah, I'm excited. Um... Let me see here. Scrolling down. 14 months, 0, 0.0. Uh, Taco Rocks Gaming, thanks for the 14 months, Spoo. Thank you. Nick, I want to see yeah. you complete the ultimate challenge, going to 6th Street at night with Emily as your bodyguard. Make this happen, please. Also, GTR Omega Lal. Yep. Uh, when are you guys going to Norway? We should be in Norway for the 17th of May, I guess. I guess we're uh, I guess we're going back to Norway. You know, we got to get some Norway streams going in there. Feels good, man. So, that should be awesome. Yeah. Uh, going to do some Norway streams. Yeah. It's going to be Smile. like uh the good news is the sun's going to be up. So, we're actually going to be able to see Norway during Right? The sun is up now, right? Correct? Like, it's not like it was when we went in the winter, right? It's up, surely, right? Yeah. What time does it get dark? Like 6 p.m., maybe? 
I don't even know actually when it gets dark. Is it up the whole time? Okay, it's, oh, it gets dark at 10 p.m.? God damn, so we got the whole day. Damn, so we got the whole day of sun. Oh my God, now I'm excited. We can actually go show off the country and stuff like that. Let's go, dude. Yeah, I'm down. And then we got the big juicer backpack. Yeah, we will have no problems with it. Yeah, visit Canute. You want to do like a, a trip to Canute's house, dude? We can start at Melania's house and we can drive through uh, through the mountains and go visit Canute for a couple days. Yeah, that'd be crazy fun. Yeah, that'd be crazy fun. So, yeah, RV trip that shit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, show off McDonald's. Dude, obviously we're going to go to McDonald's in Norway. We love the McDonald's streams in Norway, don't we, guys? Yeah, they're really good, dude. They're really good. I got to make sure I eat healthy, healthy though, so we get some energy. Yeah, for sure. Uh, please stop yelling. Thanks. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Yo, uh, Slide Ninja, thanks for the nine months. Appreciate that. Uh, Nick Street, I don't know. Nick, Nick's, Nick, thank you for the 32 months, by the way. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, surely he would have sat in the house playing WoW. Yeah, we don't play WoW anymore. The game's dead. So we really don't have to do that at all. In fact, when I'm in Nord, there's really nothing to play because I hate, I hate playing like FPS games with like, I'm just going to be honest. I hate playing FPS games with Europeans. I don't know. There's just mad disrespect coming out, out of that group, you know. You know, people are shooting boxes, teabagging you, screaming at you. We can't be doing that, though. So either we're playing with high ping or we're not playing at all. So I'm going to keep it real, man. Yeah. They are better. They are objectively not better. So, yeah. It's just not true. It really isn't. Uh, let me see here. Why is this not? Got it. There we go. This thing was annoying me. Uh, do the Canute ice bath. I can't swim, so yeah, take Russell with you. You want me to take Russell to Norway? Sure, we can put Russell on an airplane, take him to Norway. That'd be fun. Uh, you should go to those one of those famous hot springs. Yeah, let's do that, dude. We can find a whole bunch of stuff to do. You know, maybe drive ten hours. You know, good content for sure. Yeah. Uh, someone says, "Talk mean to me, Nick, please. I'm begging you. You guys need to stop coming in here." Like, asking me to do stuff so you guys can jerk off. Like, you got to stop. Like, that's just getting a little bit, a little bit, you know. It's just too much, man. We just have to stop, man. Yeah, don't hum me. You know what you're doing, man. You know. Yeah, flush E. Yeah, it's just too much, man. It really is. It really is. Um, someone says, Nick, I swear you better learn how to eat foreign food and not be glued together by in a fast food on vacation. Yeah, but like the problem is Norway. I was certain you would at least hit a headlight for us to show us the pollen power. Jokes on me. Minus twenty one months, sadly. Yep. Uh, the problem is like um, Norway's food just tastes so bad. Like everyone here knows Norway cuisine is just terrible. You know, it's all like squishy, disgusting food that literally tastes like uh, sewage water. So, you know, it's just bad, dude. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Um. What did this guy do? This guy's being so weird. Neo Tower 420. He goes, tell me I'm worthless, please, Nick. Yes, bro, it's not sexual. Then what is it, Neo Tower? Tell us why. No, we, I'm, I'm only looking at your messages now in chat, buddy. Don't roll on me. Why do you want me to say that to you? What's going on, man? It's just my thing. No, no, no. That's not a good enough answer. That that is the truth. The truth. It's just my thing. Isn't a, isn't a thing. Why? <laughs> what what does it do for you when I say these things to you? You have a way with words, bro, dude. You're not you're not convincing us. This isn't some sort of you enjoying this sort of thing. You know, you're not doing a good job of convincing us, dude. You know, it doesn't sound anything like that at all. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, dude. It is what it is. All right, I'm not going to say that stuff to you because that's mean. I'm not going to be mean. Um, Actually, you know what? You literally just started following today. What is going on? <laughs> what the heck? You started following today. Oh, my God. 
Okay, it is what it is, man. Yeah. Uh, when's the next Dino Nugget stream? Soon, Looking hopefully. Looking great today, Nick. Keep it up, NMP thumbs. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Mario Kart Norway. Yep. Uh, am I gonna play hardcore? Wow. Uh, no. No. Stella got banned. Who's Stella? I don't know who that is. Let me scroll down here. How come you never go to Michigan? It's just too hard going to Michigan, dude. You know. Like the problem is like I much rather live in Michigan with with my with my real IRL buddy friends than be here in 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 Texas. But this is where the job is, man. You know, this is where the job is. This is where OTK is. That's why I still hit the lottery, man. That's why I still play the lottery. Like I still buy lottery tickets. You know, hopefully one day that you know we can hit that lottery. You know, someone's like in chat will be like, "You already hit the lottery." Yeah, to an extent, but you know. Bugatti would be nice, right, mate? You know, so... No, nah, I'm just kidding. I would never buy a Bugatti. But if I hit the lottery, man, we would we would never cook ever again. There would never be a cooking stream. It'd be just games all the time, dude. It'd be great. Uh, multi, I don't know if I said it, but thank you for the 50 months. There we go. And we, I'd, I'd, I'd be back in Michigan. We'd be out of Texas so fast. So fast. Oh, my stomach just made a little noise. I actually pooped twice today before I got to the stream, so, you know... Um, surprising it's still making any, any sort of noise. Yeah. Yeah. Let's be real. The Norway streams would be Nick scared on a boat and going to fast food places. No, I'm down to check out, uh, new, new places in Norway that we can see, dude. We can go traveling. You know, let's leave Bergen. I'm down. Like, let's leave the city, mate. Let's leave the city. So the first thing I want to actually, you know what? Maybe Melina's mom can help me out. Maybe she can get a whole bunch of SIM cards before we get there. That's going to be the thing. We got to get a whole bunch of SIM cards. So we need SIM cards and we need... Uh, four V-mount batteries. And a charger. I can bring the charger. I have one. But we need four V-mount batteries. And then we should be good, man. We really should be good. Because each V-mount battery lasts about three hours. Which isn't very good. So a whole day if we stream for... Yeah. So it is what it is, man. It is what it is, but... We can, uh, we can figure it out. Yeah. Um, I'm excited. <laughs> there we go. Scrolling down, scrolling down. Uh... Man, this guy said, come to Sweden and peg me. Hey, Nick, love the old cycling stream you did with Malona and GGX. Bike riding? You could perhaps do one in Norway this time round. You want me to You want me to bike around Norway? Do you think I could even physically do that? Like, legit, do you think I could physically bike around Norway? Like, I don't know if I could physically even do that, yeah. Not a chance in hell because there's hills. Like how how do you go up a hill? You know I could try, but it's just it's just not gonna work. But we can give it a go, yeah. Um, bro, this guy said he's so close. Nick, just say it to finish him off. Uh, it is it is not my responsibility for any of you guys. Uh, like you you coming is not my responsibility. I just have to be completely clear about that. That is not my thing. Like you got to figure that out yourself. Like there's there's a thousand ways to do that yourself, and I, none of those in, in, involve me in any in any way whatsoever. So yeah, someone just said, "But you're my dad." Is that really? Is that where we're at now, guys? Is that is that where we're at now? Are we just going? Is that where we're at? There we go. Um, scrolling down. Oh jeez. Uh <laughs> how many giveaways do I have to enter to get a free Starforge PC? I don't know, but some some people some people in the chat have one free PC before so. today. Oh wait, that's my reflection. Nice. Lemon. Nice, thanks for the resubs, boys. Uh hey Nick, have you been a good little kitten this morning? Yeah. Yeah, I've been such a good little kitten. Meow. Uh, let me see. 
Scrolling down, scrolling down. NMP Lol isn't playing Hardcore WoW because he isn't good enough. See, the thing about Hardcore WoW, it's not a testament of skill. It's a testament of patience. And, you know, that's all that it is. And it's just, like, at this point, like, Hardcore WoW is like, I'm like 32, and I'll never get those hours back if I play that. You know, so, for sure. Um, Someone says, how fat are you? Pretty fucking fat, dude. We need to lose about 20 pounds now. You know, now. Maybe today's the, maybe today's the day that we start. Yeah. Maybe it is. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Are you saying that you need to live in Texas to be a part of OTK? I mean, it definitely helps to be here, isn't it? Like, isn't the strength of OTK doing all the collabs and doing stuff together? Isn't that the real strength of it? What makes us uh, makes us so special? Yeah, you know, that we actually do stuff. Yeah. Someone says, "Do you dislike Texas now?" No, I don't dislike Texas. Texas is uh, definitely better than California. Um, but you know, everyone like the home is where the heart is, right, guys? Like, I'm sure you guys are a little bit more. I mean, those of you that have moved from your home, I'm sure you like your home better, right? I graduated with my doctor of pharmacy this week. I saw. Congrats. Are you proud of me? I am. I saw. Congrats. Congrats, Ryan. I saw on the Discord. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we're not pointing Apex now. Yeah. Uh, Someone says, bro, Houston, Texas, while and bro, why are they why are people giving head in the street? Jay, what are you talking about? I heard there was like a there was like a mass shooting in Texas and they and they don't even know who did it. Guy just gone, gone in the wind, you know? That's what I heard. In Houston. Houston Houston is Houston's off his rocker right now. Yeah. Someone said E Rob. Clearly not E Rob, guys. Uh, yeah. They have Starlink in Norway. Do they? Can we connect to it? Let me scroll down here. Man, so someone came in here, Guevara, and just said, suck a cock. Only message. I've uh, been following for three years and just came in here and said, suck a cock. Just unscrupulous. Nothing. No one bought. No, just unbelievable. Um... Crazy. Let me scroll down here. Get an e-bike. Yep. Yeah. Have you ever been to a bike city? There's plenty of fat cyclists. Yeah, it's about being in shape. So, scrolling down, scrolling down. Dude, I can hear Milana. It's like, what? Is, who's she talking to right now? You know, it's like, what's going on here? What is going on, dude? Let me scroll down. Why is Chet horny? I have no idea. Uh, bro, we were on Mackinac Island biking and I figured it'd be a good stream, but my girlfriend said too much exercise for him. I've actually, I've actually, now only people in Michigan really know what Mackinac Island is, but I've actually biked around all of Mackinac Island. I did it when I was younger. It was crazy. Yeah, it really was. Uh, someone says, do you have any idea how much potential your stream dynamic with Milena has for IRL? Yo, Nick. I mean, Dave. Is it? Would you ever consider getting a motorcycle? Or are you too soy to ride one? Uh, I'm too soy to ride one. I think motorcycles are horrifyingly scary. Yeah. Do you have freckles? I don't think so. Yeah. Let me see. Um, Maybe. Uh, who's keeping the dogs and you were in Norway? We have we have someone who comes and watches them, a friend of ours. He comes here and he just hangs out, games, you know, watches the Schmogus. So, yeah. Uh, can you send me a Starforge PC, please? Listen. Listen. Um, if you, you should just buy one. Like, Starforge, you can go to StarforgeSystems.com right now. And you can just, just buy one. You know? It's just that simple. If, you, if your computer sucks, just buy it. You know, you know they, they have they have like uh you I think you, I think there's payment plans maybe you know. It is what it is, dude. You know it is what it is. Bet you bet you have a thousand dollar phone, don't you? You really changed. Yep. Bet you do. Yo, uh, P Pafan Winder, thanks for the for the prime. Thank you. Uh, hi Nick. Hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning. What's going on? We're just waking up here, man. We're just waking up. 
Uh, is Myth the guest today? No. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I think sitting in a car eating fast food isn't really IRL, but yes, technically you're right. What, do, what are you guys talking about? They do IRL all the time. Yeah, we're not like... We're not like, you know, Emily yeah. and Jenny and Jake and Bake. You know, we really don't be doing all that sort of stuff, man. You know, we really don't have that sort of juice in us, you know. Probably because we're just afraid of people. That's probably the biggest thing, you know, to be honest. You have to really just have zero fear to do that sort of stuff, you know, like... Like, like for example, like extra Emily, she went down to, like, the college... And like was IRL streaming a college that she doesn't even go to. Imagine if I did that. 32 year old man on campus filming students. Imagine that headline. It just it just wouldn't it just wouldn't work for me. Yeah, I just couldn't do it. And also, I'm the one that gave her the idea to go there in the first place. So like I, I know what content's out there. I just choose not to do it. You know? It just doesn't fit me, you know, but you know what does fit me going to different food places. We could do that showing things like, you know, cool things like, you know, mountains and things like that. We things like that would be fun, but you know, yeah, I don't know. I think, I think the problem is we're just too afraid. That's probably the biggest reason when it comes to like interacting with strangers, you know, cause like, you know, like as like a, as like a human, or even like an animal. Let's, let's talk about an animal. Like animals have like uh, like defense mechanisms and they have like like deer like pick their head up and they listen around, right? So like I think the biggest threat to me as a as a living creature, right? The biggest threat to me is another human. Right? That's probably and probably what, diabetes. So besides those things, it's like it really does kind of make me want to sit inside all the time, you know. Hello, all-knowing really creator does. of everything, Father. Yeah. Eleven months. NMPL, NMPL. There we go. Uh, Wingardium Jugalosa, thanks for that tier one sub. <laughs> See, that right there is a unique, funny name. That's hilarious. Buddy, buddy, what are we doing? What are we doing? Why are you huffing and puffing? What's going on here? Um, yeah. Nicholas, you did it again. We've been over this already. You made the same mistake. Stop saying schmoguses for the plural of schmogus. The plural of schmogus is schmogi. You should know this by now. Do better next time. Bro, how are you correcting me on words that I made up myself? These aren't real words. I made them up myself. How are you gonna how are you gonna correct my English on words that I made up myself? They're not real. They're not like some sort of mushroom. You know? It's just schmogi and schmogus and schmoguses. That's just that's just not real. Sixteen months and you are style ugly XQCL. Guys, XQCL. Uh can you play Mario Kart now? I need my daily fix of you barely breaking top six. Uh, we can play some Mario Kart if you guys want to. I don't really care. Yeah, Yonic, can we get a shooting range stream soon? Would be very poggers to see you handle a real see, man's tool. That's a perfect example of something that I will just not do. Because it scares me. I'm not going to go to a shooting range and have someone Chris Kyle me and shoot me in the head when I'm in there. Right? It's just not going to happen. It's just, I could do it. Gage. <clears throat> okay, Scorpion, thank you. But I'm just, I'm just not going to go there. You know? It's not, it's not even lazy. It's not even lazy. It's just an active choice to not do it. You know? It's just crazy. Yeah, it's just, I, it's just, I don't want, I don't, and the thing is, I don't want to go with some like streamer that has ADHD, who's not paying attention, accidentally, you know, misfires the gun or something. You know, it's just it's just not a thing that I'm gonna do, man. You know, you know now you know who would go to a shooting stream, shooting range on stream. Who's probably gonna do it very soon? Extra Emily. You know, no qualms, no fucks given. You know, does not care. 
You know, me on the other hand, we're not going. Yeah, it's just not going to go down that way. Yeah. And besides, shooting range streams are super loud, so yeah. Let me see. Arcadia, my VIP, says you need to get out more and stop being terminally online. Yeah, I'm, I can I can admit that uh, the, the the pandemic has created a little bit of angst in your boy here. So yeah, uh, can we have a stream where you, where you just hang out and cuddle with Buddy and Kevin? No, no. There we go. Yo, I'm still sub to this Lamal. Isn't that funny, John? It really is. Yo, uh, Seldron, thanks for 28, 29 months. Thank you. Yeah. Yo. Oh, some another dog's coming back. Who is it? Shmogi? Nope, they stopped coming. They stood completely still. Yeah. Because plurals have rules. Oh, really? Shmogi? Uh, let me see here. Someone says, what a BS. You're just lazy and stick to the low effort scamming. Going around, <laughs> showing things. Yeah. First, show us the coin. No. And where is the Utah music video? Show the video now. I'm never showing the Utah music video. And the thing is, that video was so good that you guys would be memeing, memeing it for years, but you just didn't hit the likes. And you're just never going to see it, dude. And that's just what happens. You know? It's like, I told you guys to like this tweet to get 10,000 likes, and we didn't get it. So I didn't release the video. Next time, do what I say, and then you'll get the content. It's just that simple. And you'll never, ever, ever see it because you failed. And that is how life works. You should have just liked the tweet. You should have had your grandma like the tweet, your mom, your dad, your sister, your little brother. All that should have happened, you know. You know, yeah, all that should have happened, but no, you just didn't like it, so it's never going to happen. Um, for sure, for sure. Uh, today I learned that you sound like Jamal Murray from the Nuggets. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. Let me see, let me see here. Yeah. Nick, would you ever do a collab with Kai Senate or Yoraj? Wow. Wow, would I ever do a, a collab with Kai? Probably. But I feel like if I did, there'd be another 900 comment LSF thread calling me the worst person on the planet <clears throat> and telling me that I stabbed my friends in the back somehow. And, you know, there's there's just no winning in that situation either. So, you know, there really, there really is just, you know, yeah, I would make it. <clears throat> I mean, the guy who made the last, the one, the last thread about trade is a sub. He's like a 10 month sub. <laughs> he was talking in discord. He was. He was laughing, <laughs> you know, so he really was. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Go for the world record hate threads. No, no. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm down for whatever though. I, I really, I don't really hold any grudges. So I'm down to do whatever at the end of the day. Um, yeah, I'm down to do whatever. Uh, what productive things are you doing today? I'm drinking water. A whole bunch of water. Very productive, yeah. Buddy, buddy, stop. God. Um <laughs> uh, Let me see. Oh my god, this guy was just spamming. Uh, oh my goodness, guys. Look, 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 look. There's a brand new sub. Look at that. Valharos Prime. Brand new sub. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. Yeah, look at that, dude. Yeah. Wow, that was crazy. Amazing, amazing. When are you guys getting a new dog? Oh, look, guys. Look. Look at that right there. Another new sub. Cereal, thank you. Thank you. Wow. Uh, Pineapple Gladiator, thanks for gifting Womble Night as well. I saw that. 
Yeah, stop, stop touching you. How do you guys feel? How do you guys feel that I just poked you like that? What are you going to do about it? Set a sub goal for the video. Okay, I'll release the video if we get 10,000 subs. Okay, how about that? 10,000 subs, I'll release the video. Boom. Um, never going to hit that. Never going to happen. Yo, uh, Red Ramen, thanks for the prime. Thank you. Thank you. No thanks. I, I do not care. I do not care to not release that video. You're, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. It's on you. Uh, Dust, Dusteth, Boneth. Thank you for the tier one. Thank you. Uh, here, we should probably clear up this Reddit because uh, it, it gets a lot of Reddit in, the, in there. If I don't clear it out, it gets kind of backed up from time to time. Uh, Glue, thanks for the sub too. Welcome home. Welcome home. Nick, would you like to explain to me why I found you when I was scrolling through Grinder yesterday? Didn't know you played for both teams. What? Let's get the video. Um, I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. First, uh, first Reddit post. This is from five days ago. Uh, Oro said, and he likes scat unironically. I just have to, for the record here, um, just deny that that is just not true anymore. So it's just not a thing. So I'm not sure what, what she's talking about here. It's just not. It's just not true. So we're gonna we're gonna have to move on here. Yeah, moving on. Um, yeah, what is chance? Uh, what is this? Better than water burgers, yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry, Nick. <laughs> I took it to Water Burger, or we went to Water Burger at like 3 a.m. She definitely says Water Burger sucks. I can't um, say that. You said it's like. You said it's not that great, and Nick overhypes it so much. We talked about this in, in okay, person. Okay, no, I would just... Listen, I feel You're like fast wrong. food... No, I didn't say it sucked. I just... Okay, when when they said chicken tenders, I thought they had, like, some shape. Listen, the thing about Whataburger, and me and Chance talked about this in person. They... She doesn't understand what Waterburger is. And the thing is, she's just like the rest of you. You guys just don't get it. Why it's so great. And it's never been because of the taste. Which it still tastes pretty good. But the thing that makes Waterburger so much better than everything else is that it's consistent. It will always be there for you any time of the day you need it it is there it tastes the same it is it is like that best friend that is always there for you if you're sad whataburger if you're happy whataburger if it's your birthday whataburger that's why it's so good now the taste, I think the taste is like a 9 out of 10 personally in terms of other fast food. Put it up against McDonald's, I think it tastes better. Put it up against Wendy's, I think it tastes better. Put it up against In-N-Out, I think it tastes better. I do. I truly do. Um, but if you go to Whataburger and you're expecting like it to be some sort of, you know, Gordon Ramsay, it's not. But it's still, it's. I think Whataburger truly is one of the best fast food restaurants in the history of the world. I do. And you know what's going to happen? And I could do this. I could do this. And I don't, I'm not going to do this to Vey, but I could. If I could like somewhat gaslight them into always eating Whataburger like once a week, eventually she'll start craving it. That's all I'm saying. Because the first time I had Whataburger, I thought the same thing she did. But I kept eating it and eating it and eating it and eating it. Like I'm just gonna like drop off some Whataburger, like every day at the front at, at the at the at their house or their apartment. I'm just gonna knock on the door. I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm gonna run away, 
and they're going to keep eating it and eating it. And over time, the addiction is going to come. You know? That's the way to do it. Yeah. There we go. And then it will be the best. <laughs> Uh, is that psych? Am I a psychopath? Yeah. No, Whataburger's good, you know? But, you know what? I do overhype it, though. But the thing is, it just, it just, it means a lot to me. Because it's always there. Like, I can go there right now and get some delicious food. Name another place where you can go to right now and get delicious food. You can't. You just can't do it. Yeah, McDonald's. Uh, it's, it's not that good. You know, really isn't that good. It just isn't. Yeah. My Take kitchen. Wiggle. Yeah, you just go to the kitchen, grab some food. Chick fil A. Now, okay, you know what? I take. I. Yo. Man, fuck. This is a hard one. What's better, Chick fil A or Whataburger? Hey, hey. Oh, man. They're both so good, dude. See, it can't be Chick-fil-A because you can't even get it on Sundays. You know? You just came back from a church gangbang, you know? You're going to Whataburger. You're not going to Chick-fil-A because it's closed. You know? But Chick-fil-A is really good. I put it up there with Whataburger. Yo. To be honest. Taco Bell's the best. Bro, Taco Bell is so bad. Hi, you. It is... There is... There is nothing... It, Taco Bell... It is so bad, dude. It, it it has fallen the fuck off. Over over time. Like, Taco it's just... Taco Bell best fast food. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Thanks for the resub, but you're just wrong. Like, I remember back in Michigan... So back in Michigan, we didn't have things like Whataburger and Jack in the Box, right? But we did have one Taco Bell in the city I grew up in and the lines, it was the busiest Taco Bell in Michigan. And everyone would just wait in line for this Taco Bell. And I'm like, guys, this place tastes like shit. Yeah, it was bad, dude. It really was. Culver's. I actually haven't really done a full Culver's deep dive. Should we? Wait, didn't wait. Did we, I think we did go to Culver's once. But I think I wasn't feeling good. Something happened. Yeah. You tried once before you liked it? We need to go back. Because I, I think I've only had that one time. Next post. Uh, What is this here? Melina? Melina, you're awfully quiet. Did you tell him to do that? God, we're so funny. Uh, next post. What is it? Oh, go ahead. How does a tuber eat? Do they just rip it into pieces and slowly start inserting it into their USCC ports? Any knowers? How does a VTuber eat? Okay. I don't know if anyone's told you this, so I'll just tell you this right now. VTubers are real people and they can eat the way you eat. So you don't have to role play any ripping food into pieces and slowly inserting it into USB-C ports because if you want to do it by that logic, then they just charge themselves with AC power like every other thing on the fucking planet. Obviously. Like what? Okay, next next clip. Fuck. Fuck. Who would you rather see open who would you rather see get a knife chat? Me or Milena? Milena! <laughs> okay. That's the <a> fucking <laughs> Hilarious good timing there. Great job. Okay, uh, next. Someone said Tectone always crying in chat. Is Tectone here? <laughs> Guys, unpopular opinion. 
Tectone's the best streamer in OTK. Just unpopular opinion, but I think it's true. Okay, what is this? I have already quit gambling. I easily avoid situations where people are gambling. Whenever I feel the urge to gamble, I find something healthy to do. I care about my finances and take care of my family. I am growing stronger every day. I find quitting gambling to be very easy. I have stopped gambling forever. I let go of all of my unhealthy behaviors. I'm committed to being as healthy as possible. I see gambling as a dirty habit. I easily resist the temptation to gamble. I love my non-gambling life. I breathe deeply and naturally. I have strong willpower. What what the hell is this? Obviously, like, this doesn't work. Because, like, I wasn't even thinking about gambling. But now I kind of opened some cases. I I had I had no thought in my I had no urge to do any gambling. I didn't think about it. But now that now that I listen to this, now I'm like, okay, maybe we can open some cases. Like this this had this had the opposite effect. I had no urge to even do that. I didn't even think about it. This video did not help. I accomplish anything I set my mind to. And now it's just straight up lying. Okay. Okay. Um Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at all this. Guys, do we read this? Do we read it? Listen, listen. We we do not care. TLDR, gambling is bad. Please stop doing it on stream. Yeah. 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 Next post. Hey, look, gambling. So what you want to do is get Steam cards, whether you buy them <laughs> online or in store, and then put them in, and you, you can use I'm the going to 2000. <laughs> uh, the timing, dude. The timing. Uh, we do, we do need to pack at least one knife, though. We really do. Like, surely all the money that we've spent so far. Wait, how much have we spent? Let me see. Surely this thirty six hundred dollars is not going to be for nothing, right, chat? Do you bunny it Waterberg because it gives you a leaky butthole? No. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Taco Bell would be S tier if it didn't make me birth an alien out of my kitten every time I ate it. It's D tier. Yeah, Taco Bell is not good. Yeah, it's just not good. Um, that was funny. Uh. Next post. Chat, don't forget to wave and smile. Two years. Yay. Let me see. Someone says, hope this doesn't get deleted. Genuinely curious what's up with the CSGO case opening streams that came out of left field. Dude, there's just nothing else to do, man. Like, the juicers playing Minecraft 24-7. Miss streams four days a week. You know, chances playing Classic WoW. Like there's just nothing really to be doing these days, man. We need we need like a meta to come through, like Among Us or Rust or something. You know, something where you can sit on the computer and just grind it. You know, besides cum stacking all the time, like, you know, you can only tape yourselves to walls so many times. You know, you really can. So Minecraft, yeah, yes. Like look at Mar Mario speed running. It's just there's only so much really stuff to do. So. Yeah. We need a new game. You think there'll ever be another Fortnite chat? Like, Fortnite really just took over everything. Like, same with Among Us. Like, surely there has to be another one of those waves, right? There really does. It can't, you, no, it's not going to be Diablo 4. 
because the kids have to play it. The, the reason that Among Us and and Fortnite were so big is because Fortnite, of the kids. We like Fortnite. Kids were playing it, and that's what made it so good. Yeah. GTA 6? Mmm. I don't know. I don't know, maybe. Yeah. 16 months. I enjoyed my stay. Thank you, Tito. Thank XQCL. you. XQCL. Thank you. How about everyone just goes What's outside? Whole timer? How we doing? Someone said, how about everyone goes outside? Goes outside and, and do what, mate? What do you want us to do? Go to the grocery store grocery store with a chance of getting shot? Go to the movies and there's a chance of getting shot? What do you what do you want us to do? Go to the park where there's a chance of getting shot? Yeah, like, what, what, you what do you want us to do? Like, I don't understand. Riot MMO will be the next fortnight. Riot MMO? Yeah, I don't 20 even months know. Like, were NMP7. Yeah. Holy paranoid. Hey, let me be paranoid. Okay? If I want to, I'm not bothering you. Me me not going outside isn't bothering you, is it? So, yeah. Play some Valorant. Man, I can't think of a game that I would want to play less than Valorant. I played Valorant. It is just bad, dude. It is just bad, dude. It's like a worse version of Apex Legends and CSGO. I can't believe it's so popular. You know, it's just bad, dude. Like, if I want to use champion abilities i'll play apex if i want to use if i want to shoot people i'll play csgo and somehow they made this game and it's like a mixture of both and people play it i don't understand how this is not good man and don't say it because i'm bad i literally was immortal i can prove it to you valorant i can prove it to you i was immortal Wait, oh, I don't even know what my login information is. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Is this it? Oh, man. Everyone likes me and thinks I'm great in, in my, my safe space. space. My safe space. Beans. Cardboard to rank. My safe space. My safe space. Complaining about fast food and Whataburger? How about you get your bread up so you can be like me and eat at Michelin star restaurants every day? I'm a Dubai oil prince by the way based. Based. One year later. Okay, you ready? Here we go. So this is my uh, Valorant account. Episode 1, Act 1. No, this is not a bot account. This is my account. How do I how do I prove it? Is there like my name? How do I prove it? Right side. Yeah, see Lord Lord NMP NA1. That's me with the fox. You ready? Diamond, platinum, gold, right? You ready? Boom! Immortal. Never played the game again. I got to Immortal and I never played it again. Yeah. Just not. It just was not fun, dude. Yeah, it just was not fun. So. Valorant child game. Look to cartoon yeah. graphics to make carried? it play no. a happy like children show. It was not Valorant carried. Cartoon world with rainbow, unlike Counter Strike with dark corridor and realistic 26, gun. Twenty six wins. Valorant like playhouse. Bro. Valorant play or run from CS:GO fear. Yeah, I never played it Boosted. ever again. 
Like, look at that. I hit Immortal. I said, this game's for children, and I quit. So, yeah, it was just not fun. But we did it. We did it, yeah. Yeah, CS, CSGO is way more fun. I have like 1,400 hours in CSGO. But, yeah, it is what it is. Next post. Hello? People need to stop posting this around, man. Like, who wants to see this, dude? Like, four days ago. It's like, like, why? Yeah, it's brutal. Good post, evil piggy. Yep, next post. Uh, What is this? CSGO cases next. I'll never open CSGO cases. Anymore. Here we go. Milk. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is so funny. Look at the sub count. I know 11k subs, dude. Back in the good days. Back in the good old days when we did the blackjack streams, you know, we could juice the sub count up a bit, you know? Yeah. It's gone, dude. Back in the, the COVID days. Next post. Uh, I hope you're capitalizing on these views. So you're telling me the clip of me being harassed in public has 2.1 million views and it's not on my channel. God. Watch it. This is an this is a screenshot. This is a picture. I can't watch it. I don't even know the link. Yeah. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Is this TikTok? This is a TikTok thing, right? Yeah. That was the sub only stream. It was, yeah, it really was. I'm pretty famous though, huh? I like the fact that I get 2.1 million views on TikTok really tells me that I make great content. You know? I really do. I'm just I'm just a content machine at the end of the day. And I don't even go on TikTok, you know? So, is that the link? We're not clicking that. Yeah. Next post. Tells this. Uh, Burgers Turf. Culver's. Is there even a Culver's in Michigan? In and out? Whataburger? The hell is the orange? Cool. Yeah, I've never seen a Culver's. Me neither. But I guess they're huge. Uh, what does this say? Uh, I've been watching Tectone recently. I hate my life. And I thought I'd make an emote suggestion for Nick. Thinking emoji. Link is in the comment section. We hate this. Wait, do we actually have that? Did Oro upload it? Fuck. Next post. Uh, I'm not watching this either. Wait, the untold truth of other of the other Whataburger. In 1950, Whataburger opened its first location in Corpus Christi, Texas. But what most people don't know is that around the same time, 1,200 miles across the country, another Whataburger was selling its first burger. Both Whataburger and Whataburger sold burgers for the next 20 years before they discovered each other. Once they learned of each other's existence, the two restaurants discussed merging into one company, but eventually decided to peacefully coexist. While one of these restaurants clearly outshined the other, the Virginia-based Whataburger is still in operation today. I think it'd be really cool if someone did a blind taste test of the two. In 1950, Whataburger opened... Wow, there's another Whataburger. Should we fly to Virginia and go taste it? Road trip? Man, what are the chances of us going to Virginia, though? Oh, look who's coming in, guys. Look who it is. And he's... Buddy, what are you doing in here? Guys, you ever you ever just love something so unconditionally that every time you see it, you get happy? Oh, tier 3 sub. That's what I was talking about. Thank you for the tier 3 sub. Amazing, dude. Yeah. There we go. 
Look, here he comes. He's a terrible viewer. Malina, Malina, Malina. What are you doing here? Hope you have a wonderful day. Big German Shepherd. The love of my life. Oh, I love you so much. What are you doing up here? Can you go away? NMPL. Are you, are you gonna play Last of Us 2? 2? There we go. Stop being mean. I don't yeah, know what he wants. Back. He's like over here just breathing all my air. You know? Like Jesus Christ. Yo, Michelle Pollum. Yeah. When are you going to Norway again? Soon. We're gonna, gonna be lit in the summer. We'll be there for the 17th of May. I think we're gonna stream the 17th of May. So. It's gonna be fun, dude. We're gonna have a great time. I'm actually really excited. Nick, get over here. G L G L G L G L G L G L G L G L G L G L G L G L G L G L. Can we just talk about we just got two fifteen dollar donations back to back and how I made thirty dollars in two seconds? That is that is crazy. And the thing is, three dollars like three dollars you would have gotten the same message across. It would have done the same, but two people at the randomly both gave fifteen dollars each. And both one message was cool. The other one was literally weird. So plus thirty for your boy. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, next, next post. What is this? The magnificent, a magnificent R thirty four GTR documentary. It might not be a good stream kind of, but it's a good watch if you have time for it. This is forty minutes. Yeah, we're not watching this, dude. My stomach's making some weird noises today. Next post. Meanwhile, in another universe. Good morning, chat. With Nick and Malena. Malena. You guess are awesome. Mp blankies. Thank you, Bartz. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that was weird, wasn't it? Um Nick, hi. When is the next taste test with Asman? I don't know. Feats are overrated. Mods. Uh no miles, give it a tier one to one hundred subs, thank you. Uh lazy, thank you. Thank you for the for the resub. Um, I don't know when the next taste test with Asmin is. Yo. I don't know what's going on with Asmin. Whatever he wants to, I guess. Next post. NMP on Parasocial. Handsome. Thank you. That's right, folks. Longtime owner Mr. Krabs is opening a new restaurant called The Krusty Krab 2. First of all, congratulations, Mr. Krabs. Hello. I like money. What inspired you to build a second Krusty Krab right next door to the original? Money. <laughs> <sighs> to be fair, I thought my answers were justified. I got 24 points on the second one, so it's not bad. It really isn't bad. Silly? Yeah. Next post. Uh, drama. Hmm? Next post. We gotta stop putting this... Dude. Remind, reminder that Tarantino wrote a scene Dusk Till Dawn where Salma Hayek pours tequila down her leg and forces a guy to drink it by sucking on her toes then casts himself in that role. I would do the exact same thing if it was all consensual and possible. You know, it just, it is what it is, man. Like, Salma Hayek is, is super, super pretty, man. Yeah. Didn't you already react to this? I don't know. I have all shimmers. Uh, Nick, the creator of everything and making everyone's career, bro. This was not okay. This is just not okay. Yeah. Dude, some, someone on Reddit called me a psychopath for memorizing viewer count numbers, even though that's like literally something when you're sitting at a table talking about, you know, potential of people joining OTK or not, you know, look what we were able to accomplish. It's, it's such a normal thing for us to know, but like someone on the internet called me a psychopath and got like 400 fucking upvotes when it's literally part of my job. So absolutely crazy, dude. Crazy. But yeah, this was a funny picture, by the way. So yeah, there we go. 
Less than 6K subs, bro. Uh, let's go down here. Uh, Nick and Milena are perfect for each other. Stealing Ms. Book, stealing Starforge merch. Bro, this was a Razer camera. Uh, but yeah, Cinna looks gorgeous. Why are you guys so weird with her? Like, Jesus Christ, dude. Says you. I'm I'm not weird with her at all. That's you. Yeah. She's weird? Yeah, she is. I'm the only one who's not weird. I'm normal. Okay. Uh, bring back the cozy, chill driving scenes with Sierra. Perfect for background noise. Is it all I am to you, chat? Is it a whole bunch of background noise? Dude, which, which one do I look the best in? Probably the bottom. Damn, look at this hairline, though. Chat, this is the only time I feel bad for you because you guys have to look at this all day or all morning. Jesus fuck, dude. What happened, dude? God, bottom left. Do you think this is where I look the best? Or is this the worst? I don't know. This is the best? Wait, this is the best. When I have a terrible beard and more hair, this is the best? You guys don't like it when I shave my head? Really? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we can bring it back. Next post. What the hell is this? Don't you think it's high time you started chewing your food with your mouth closed? Whatever gave you the idea that people wanted to see your food being churned into a thick mulch? If I didn't know any better, I'd think that you were raised up by a deviant band of orphaned piglets. And in case you haven't been following the news, breathing through your nose is perfectly safe when your mouth is closed and otherwise occupied. Here, let me demonstrate. Mmm. You can even talk with your mouth closed, let alone breathe. <laughs> uh, when? Did I ask? Holy shit, dude. I do not care. I do not care, dude. Like, I just do not care. Like, I don't, I don't know what to say, dude. Like, you know, like, you know what? Like, it's it's already been scientifically proven that food tastes better when you eat with your mouth open. Scientifically proven. It's not a debate. So why would I subject myself to having less delicious food? What do you mean false? Google it. I've showed you before. Whatever. You guys can be uninitiated if you want. I'll be initiated. It's fine. You guys can live in and squalor and and not enjoy your food and i'll live in high society with my food that's delicious so with my mouth open so it's your choice it's your choice you can join me anytime there's no beer and entry just open your mouth when you eat and you're ready to join me so yeah there we go yeah why are you using a chicken towel as blanket shut up next post holy shit look at this post guys isn't this a hell of a post Petition to replace Nick for myth from, from from future NMP Law streams. He is not lazy, better looking, and got a straighter hairline. Stole Nick's girl right in front of him. Look at this post. Jesus, dude. What a post from this guy. Yeah, I mean, we, Myth can take my spot. Nick, hello. Guten Tag. 
Have a nice stay, Bruder. Thank Smil. you. 25 comments. Those nuggies added to the total weight, GJ. And he effectively shuts down Milena's delusional takes in a sophisticated and fact-based way. Handsome face NMPL. Just like how Caroline oh, does no. with Nick. Does Caroline shut down my takes in a, in a fact-based way? Does she? That huh. is the best picture ever. Mmm. <laughs> Malaya deserves a man with energy like Myth. What the hell is this? <laughs> Here's the funny thing though. Update, down 38 pounds now. Nice. Last tier 3 sub for a bit switching back to tier 1. Thank you, thank Eating you, thank you. Eating healthy is a lot more expensive than I originally thought. It is. I am poor again, sad. It happens. Uh, here's the funny thing though. Nick actually has Any a primers? better bone structure than Myth, but the 30 pounds of fat hides it all. Hell, Nick's facial symmetry is Yo. his most attractive feature to the point that he could have been a model. What? Is that true? Could I have been a model? Damn. I could have been a model. What happened? Oh no. What happened? Oh no, pain. Alright, we'll stop eating. We'll stop eating and we'll start working out. Nah. <laughs> I've heard that one before. <laughs> Uh, you know what the problem is, man? The real problem is I just love food so fucking much. That's the real problem. Hmm. I wonder if I start taking TRT, would I lose weight and not be hungry all the time? Maybe we should, dude. Should we go back to the doctor and get some TRT? What if I get like super like angry and abusive, you know? That could be bad. Like what if me taking TRT puts me off the fence and then I start getting fights with everybody? You know? Wouldn't that be awful? You know? I feel like I feel like the drama frogs would love it though. No, no. Look at that. Here's guy. Oh, he's finally off the fence. Yeah. Okay. Scrolling down. Uh, let me talk to you, Nick. I hate my life. <laughs> Yo. Uh, who said that? Who said that? I hate my oh zines. <laughs> Oh, Zeems. Oh, 25 month resub. He says he hates his life. How is that funny? Because it's like, why are you telling Happy me that? First. Like, I don't care. You know, like, <laughs> like, figure it out, man. Like, I don't know what to say. You know, like, holy shit, A dude. I'm kidding, chat. Right I'm not kidding. Uh, Listen, listen. If you hate your life, you just got to do something about it. Okay. Hey, Nick. Hey, chat. Chat. Is that Pete guy in donos yet? No. Pete, Pete has, Pete has, Pete has left. Yeah, we've lost Pete, guys. He's gone. Yeah, there it is. Um, yeah, yeah there it is. Um, let me see, let me see what this. Let me talk to you, Nick. Go ahead. Nick, don't act like you taste the food you eat. You just stuff it down your throat and swallow whole like a duck. That is not.
Uh, okay. Uh, liftathon top carrier in his true lifting action. Uh, that monitor turn off? Great work today, guys. Yeah, good job. Uh, that monitor turn off? Great work today, guys. Yeah, good job. This is a problem. And if you look here, in the second chin... You got a little bit of beard dandruff too. So it's just it's just gross all across the board, man. You know? And the fact is, guys, I somehow have a girlfriend. How does that make you feel? All you people out there that don't have a girlfriend? God, you guys must hate me, huh? Crazy, dude. Yeah, absolutely crazy. I have two girlfriends. Well, now I feel bad for you. You know, yeah. <laughs> Nick hates kids. Oh my god, laughing. <laughs> you know that that is that is so typical internet. You know, like if you don't do something, you know, then all of a sudden you hate this or you are this. It's oh, it's typical internet. You know, yeah. I spent uh seven hours at this gym for them kids. Okay. I could have been playing Apex Legends, and I was walking around trying to be funny, cracking jokes, keep, keeping people's spirits up, feeding them, you know? You know, just because I didn't lift any weights, you know, it doesn't mean I, I hate children, you know? So, you know, it's just crazy. Yeah, yeah, Father Nick, that's right. Father Nick, Father Nick the Creator, that's my name. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah, only made one joke? Yeah, but I made one joke 12 times, so therefore 12 jokes, so... Yeah, there we go. The stream was not enough suffering. Yeah, I'm not suffering for y'all. It's not going to happen. Uh, actually, I take the back. Uh, let me see here. I mean this sincerely. No cap. 100p on a stack. He looks like he's aged 10 years in the last two. true next post uh these businesses must love nick i'm not worried about inflation why i set the minimum tip on our square readers to 30 percent, 35 and 50 and ask our baristas to stare at the customers until they press one of them it works every time our sales have skyrocketed Everyone likes me and thinks I'm great in my bro what is this real Hello from South Korea. Hello. How South Korea? Chat, if this happened to you, wait, leave a tip, not optional. It's rude not to. Wait, there's no way to say no? This has to be a joke, right? Yeah, look at it. You can tell this is edited. Yeah, this is edited. Chat, what would you guys do here? You'd hit custom and put 0%? <laughs> <laughs> If Nick were invited to tea and supper at Buckingham Palace, he would quickly be escorted out once he starts slurping and chewing with his mouth open. It is unfortunate. I just wouldn't eat anything. Nick, recently we learned that to get to your top left monitor, you move your cursor to the right. Why? Why don't you fix this? Are you an anti-tech guy? How did you guys notice that? That is so weird that you notice that I, I go to the right to get to the left. How did you notice that? Oh, myth told you guys. Oh, so you didn't notice. Man. And how do you guys feel about that, by the way? That that happens? 
Why do you do that? Do you really want to know? Do you really want to know? You're mildly irritated. Okay, let me tell you. Nick, I dare you to sell the GTR and buy a Nissan Altima. No. If I sold the GTR, I would just buy another Escalade. No. Okay. I don't know what just happened. I feel like my camera just turned off. Um. So the reason... Oh. The the reason why I moved to the right to get to the top left monitor is because I I go to a completely different computer. This monitor is a completely separate computer and it shares a mouse and keyboard. So I go to the right to get there. So, okay. yeah. Hello. Why? Because that, that's where my OBS is. Because I use a triple PC stream. First one to do so. Um and everyone else is copying. Everyone else is copying me. Yeah. And I've been doing it for years. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, so that's kind of why we do it. Yeah. Yeah. Top of the morning, everybody. Good morning, Manalda. Yeah. Hello from Sri Lanka. Hello from Sri Sh Sri Lanka. How are we doing over there? Yeah, here we go. Nick, hello, Mr. Pollum. How many gift subs is it going to cost to guarantee I get a spot on OTK Elevated presented Nick. by Progressive? I actually don't have the power to do that. Sorry. What? Nick Molina, Nick Molina, Nick Molina, Nick Molina, Nick Molina, Nick Molina. Uh, it's by India. Nick Molina, Nick Molina, Nick Molina. I don't know if it's next to it, but I know it's in Asia. Did you Google it? No. Damn, you're smart. Why are you so smart? Because, um... I just am. Damn. Nick, Regis of Twitch, I have two questions for you. Yeah. What state were you born in, and how many children did your father have? Hmm? I'll give you a second. Ready? First, your dad had no kids, it was your mom. And you were born in the state of infancy. Bort, that was so funny. So funny. All right, next post. What is this? Let's, uh, let's see. Upload this pic so when you... Uh, Damn, you Nick, you got that Kyle Lowry thickness. They're just very... Hi, oh, Milena. Hope you're well. Yeah. He was at this thing today. No. No? No, you're thinking about uh, this guy. That, I mean, that picture is the same picture. <laughs> bro, no shot, bro. Dad, no way, bro. You know what? To be fair, this is why I think Brett kind of has a crush on me because me and Erob look alike. I'm just a better version of him. You guys are great individuals that are not the same at all. Because I don't have a crush on Erob. Right, because he's worse than me. I don't think you guys are the same. I think but we you're, look the same. I think you're great in your own ways. He's he's great at having bad luck. He's great at having a funny community. You're very smart. You're good at geography, you know? See? Bro, what? You're funny. Fence take. I have learned that the fence is the best place to be. Okay, next post. If you do something good, they'll hate you. If you do something bad, they'll hate you. NMP plate in my hood. NMP 801. Yep. Gang shit. Next post. What is this? Ow, ow. All the hate that I get is 100% deserved. <laughs> I'm a jackass. And no one's stopping me. <laughs> uh, true. Dude, what happened to, to Emily? Because I was hanging out with her the same night and she was quiet. And it's the first time I've ever... Emily smacked her head on the floor. She was quiet. She was just sitting there. Yeah. Staring. And she also had a fucking Red Bull. It's the craziest thing ever. She was fine. She was normal. I think this...
This head balance has reversed her. Her head hit the floor. I don't know. It might have cured her ADHD. Her head bouncing off the floor. Maybe you should all knock in your head on the floor. She tweeted the fall. Let's talk about this one, Melina. Really proud of the NMP community for not memeing this easy tweet. Yo. Bro. What happened? I got tricked. Melena, you look lovely today. Nick, better luck tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, you look great today. Don't let them get you down. That's the only thing they have in common is, is shitting on you. But you don't deserve all the... All the mean comments. Hey, I, I'm going to go turn on the podcast room, okay? Okay. Can you turn on the oven? Uh, yeah. I fell down the stairs at a nightclub. I did. I got tricked into going to 6th Street. I did go to 6th Street. First time in like three years. And it was crazy. It was not crazy. We were just sitting at a bar. Like the most dead bar on all of 6th Street. Like there wasn't even a line at the bar. What bar? I don't want to say because then I'll, I will leak their their like safe space. Um, yeah. So at the end of the night, t Brit had tequila and I had Tito's all night, and I left. And there was these steep stairs, and my heel stepped halfway off the stairs, so. You know when your foot goes like, like it crumbles like a piece of paper? That's what happened. But there was a railing. So I did the majestic full flip around. And, but I did land on my wrist like this. But it was fine. Gracious. It was. It was like the dumbest shit ever. Rolled ankle. I was fine. I was fine. It was, it was, it was fine. Um, talk with Casey's accent. No, it's okay. Hi, good morning. You you want to sit on Nick's chair? Nice. Yeah, Frogan watched me fall. I looked away for two seconds because somebody called me. Then I looked back and she's on the fucking floor. <laughs> I was halfway down the stairs on the floor. It was, it was fun though. I've been I've been honey dicking Frogan. Um, I've been showing her, like all the parts of Austin that I really like. Took her to my favorite grocery store. We went decor shopping. We went makeup shopping. And it's working. <laughs> Honey dicking? Do you, you don't know what that word means? Yeah, everyone's going, huh? Did I... Did I... Am I using a bad word? No, no, it's not a bad word. They're just dumb. I'm kidding. Come here. Oh. It's... For the Europeans, I'm showing her only the best parts where it's not really, like, real. I'm showing her only the best parts and not, like, the boring parts. And it's... In Norwegian, it's called, um... It's called looking. Like, you're... You're you're trying to tempt someone to... To come stay here and be here for... It isn't honey... It isn't the same thing. Whatever. Um... Anyway, I, th I it's been working. We've been we've been pampering her. You're using it correctly. Thank you. You fucks. <clears throat> Manipulation, hell yeah. And how has your experience been? I've loved Austin. I don't. Okay, listen, chat. Before coming to Austin, I just assumed it's a like K Kona. Not gonna lie, but it isn't. Like I feel like everybody has a perception of like K Kona, like hell yeah, brother. Mm-hmm. But it's been, <laughs> it's actually been fun and nice. <laughs> yes. I feel like everyone fucking hates Austin before they're here. They just, oh, look at those fuckers down there without a filter, you know? And then uh, now we're having fun. I didn't show her the bad parts, though. What are the bad parts? Whataburger. I can't even eat Whataburger. <laughs> Good. Good. 
it's it's not good. Um, Kevin's wild. <laughs> I don't know bad parts. I don't know if there is bad parts. The so water downtown, the river, dogs can't swim in it because they die sometimes. And there's brain eating bacteria in the in the lake, so you can't swim <laughs> without being worried about dying. Um, the heat gets so bad in the summer that your whole skin gets sticky and the allergies are so bad. And the traffic is picking up a lot. And the, the, the road, the main road, the interstate road through Austin has been under construction for 20 fucking years. <laughs> um, and there's also a serial killer. But yeah. except from that, Austin's great. Listen, we're not the, we're not men named John though, so we're good. Yeah. True true no dying yeah um also people uh, if you're not a people person i don't think you'll like austin because people talk to each other here like hi how are you doing you know it's not like they're not assholes it's not la where it's like oh you're here at this drive through right now where i'm saving up to be an actor how fucking dare you i'm too good for this like if you go to like a drive through here it's like Hi, how are you doing? Where are you going? What are you guys doing? Yeah. Oh, you're from Michigan? That's so exciting. You know, I've noticed that, like, a lot of people, like, whenever we go to, like, Starbucks and shit, they're, like, they, like, care about your day. <laughs> yes. Whereas, like, anywhere else, they're, like, get the fuck out of my face. Yes. You dumb bitch. Exactly. Shitting on LA, but doesn't live there. I didn't live in LA, but we did live in California for two years. And California hospitality is not a thing. That I know of, at least. People pay extra taxes for the fucking weather. You know? I, I wish Norway was like that. No. Norway is fucking great. You go to the grocery store. You don't have to talk to the cashiers. Hi, hi. And then you pay, you leave. No one bags your groceries. You're out. You're done. No one talks to each other at the grocery store. If you see somebody that you met from a school, from from your, your high school or... or, or kindergarten or whatever you give each other a look a look of nod of hey let's not fucking talk to each other oh my god i fucking love that yes it's so nice and the only time people ever say hi to each other is if you walk in the woods you pass each other you're one foot apart you say hi hi and then you leave that's it that's the best shit ever no one talks to each other you know what actually bothers me is i went back to norway after like four years of of, of living here and uh, when I was checking out the grocery store, I had to explain to them why I had to sign because I had American cards and I kept talking like, like small talk. And my brother was like, you know, you've lived away for too long when you're making small talk with Norwegians and they're so uncomfortable when you talk to them. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, you're right. And after that, I've been very aware. But Norwegians will talk to each other at 10 p.m. only on Fridays after they've had two shots and a beer. That's the only time Norwegians ever will talk to each other. And then they get very talkative. Very talkative. And that's when their personalities come out. That's sad. No, it's so nice. Saddest shit ever. Corpses roaming around. No. People are very aware of their spatial thing. Like, people would rather stand on the bus than take the last seat if it's next to somebody. And I love it. And you never sit next to someone in, in, a, in a bus stop. You stand outside of it. If someone gets to the bus stop first, they claim it. And then you stand outside. Only if it rains, you can go inside. There are very strict norms of Norway. And you don't do that stuff unless you're old. Now that I old people that are okay. Now immortal on Valorant, he's 20 times more attractive. Mm. Yeah. Nick's very good at video games. Y'all are too mean to him. <laughs> That's weird. Um, Hello, guys. Not sad, but uh, better to get a real person when drinking and a fake person when talking too much nonsense. True. And one thing I feel is 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 different is like here, moms will give kids their iPads and listen to that shit in public. They don't give a fuck about the space of other people uh, because personally, as I've witnessed, everyone fucking hates each other here. And they don't care about uh, other people's space. So they will... They will listen to shit on speaker. 
Like yesterday when we were out to eat, that fucking kid, the iPad kid at the table next to us. Yes. Yes. And they'll listen to music too loud. If you ever go on public transport or like at the airport, people will talk loud on speaker. You think I give a fuck about your business? Melina, don't like freedom? No. I love freedom, but I care about the public space that people are kind of forced to share. Like when you're sitting in the DMV. And you have to be there because everyone has to go to D- the DMV. Even Kim Kardashian has to go to the fucking DMV, okay? Unless she gets, like, a power of attorney or whatever. Then people will just, like, yeah. And then the car just fucking broke da- Like, oh, but oh then my, you if know what I'm I, the Karen, dude. You know what I hate? When people fucking FaceTime each other in public <sighs> without, like, headphones or anything. But I'm so nosy. I just, I'm like. She is nosy. She'll be quiet during dinner. We had dinner yesterday just to listen to what the people next to us are saying. And this is side eyes. Why do I care? Listen. Why do you care? I I think it's just about respect. Oh my God, Kevin. It's about respect. If you care about the people that you're kind of sharing a space with, especially when you're having a nice dinner. And then. You hear just, like, the kids listening to, you know, the, the YouTubers who are made for kids, right? They're inconsiderate. Um, yeah, but it's a lot of them, but I don't know. I, I've learned it's just best not to meddle and watch your own business here. It would be different if you're somewhere else. But here, I think the only time that I would meddle is if I see someone on the ground, like, passed out. And I would go over and ask if they're okay. But except from that, like, there was a girl at a concert, the Muse concert. She was crying because someone threw away her bag. And I walked over and I was like, are you okay? Like, do you need this? Do you need that? I called her an Uber. And the people I was with was like, that was kind of risky. Because... Apparently, that's how people rob others. They get a girl to, like, be the person. And then people will get close to you and then they'll take your shit. But I'm just so gullible. It's bait. Yeah. But I I helped her either way. Because I have main character syndrome. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you're with a group of people, so you would have been fine. But if it's, like, people, like knocking on your door like oh my god help me please the yeah fuck that. fuck that you're dead but i saw a tiktok yes i did see a tiktok this is a tiktok and i hate it about a girl talking about how people rob you in paris oh fuck damn yes i'm kind of afraid to go to a twitch kind of eu not gonna lie me too because i heard that french people hate everybody who doesn't speak french um and I'm kind of scared of that. Like, how are we going to get an Uber? Also, do that. which side of the road does French people drive on? The wrong one. Drive on. England was the first... What? Why was the kitchen stream on? Okay, I turned it on. Why? Because I just turned it on. But why? To help? We're not going to the kitchen. Oh, I have to go and heat up the food. Okay. Okay. Maybe we were going to intermission in the kitchen. Here, let me have this spot, okay? I need to type some stuff in. Okay, you can take the spot and then I can go heat up the food. Kevin. Bro, Melina always be clicking stuff, turn stuff on randomly, man. No, you actually didn't. You actually made it worse. Because the... Oh, man. So now I have to fix the podcast room. Because Malena, yeah, it's yeah, inter- yeah. Shut up about the DPI. How do I don't even know why it even says that? I don't even use that. Uh, so what Malena has done is that she has changed. She turned on something she shouldn't have turned on. So when I tried to turn it on in the podcast room, it didn't work because it was on in the kitchen. Because I didn't tell her to turn it on in the kitchen. So then I had to change. Does anyone care? I'm listening. Okay. 
Now, I'm not even sure if this is even going to work. Let me try it. Oh, it did work. So it's not a problem and I'm freaking out over nothing. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. All right. To the podcast room. Wait, wait. There's one more thing. Apparently, someone Where made this. Where is Rogan background from? What the fuck is that? Yeah, apparently someone made this. And Ms. Tectone, Chance, Seer, and myself. <laughs> what the actual fuck? I don't know what this is. Yeah. How does it make you feel? Uncomfortable. It's like E.T. Like e. and Sloths mixed yeah. together. This is what huge fucking tits. This is what the NMP law community, this is the best we can do. So, all right. Wait, is it going to work now? There it is. All right. Wait, come back. Surely, surely it turns back on. Hello? Pause champ. Surely. Okay. What are you nervous about? The hotness. Oh yeah, it's on the really hot. Okay. Chat, can you guys hear us? Can you guys hear us? Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Hath returned. Great stream. Yeah, you guys can hear us. Yeah, you, you can. Unfortunately. Can you guys just be fucking positive, you fucks? <laughs> like Jesus Christ. Someone donate real quick. I got to see this a resub or something. I think the sound's not working in here. Let me see. Yeah, we're getting no sound. Oh, because the alerts are off. That was it. Where is Rogan background from? There we go. I'm Lebanese. Guys, I'm not a scammer. How do I turn this TV down? Is there any way to turn this TV down? You love my shirt? Thank you. Is it too loud? I think it's good. This is loud. Hey Nick, love you. Also, GTR sucks. Escalade sucks. You? Did I do in my job interview? Everyone likes me and thinks I'm great in my safe space. My safe space. What do you say, Oro? It's just too loud. Hey Nick, butterfly you. Also, GTR sucks. Bro, Escalade why are we that again? sucks. You? Did I do in my job interview? Surely there's a value. Yo. Okay. Is there a? Uh, uh, Nick, I am sorry about my comment of calling you ugly yesterday. I am proud to say to you look even more ugly. Malena and Vrogan are looking beautiful as usual. Bruh. Hello. Chat, I love Kevin so much and Buddy. They're just so freaking cute and nice. You have to choose one. I couldn't. I'd rather... If you had to. If I had to? Yeah. Well, Kevin's been more That's cuddly with me. That's your answer then. Come here, buddy. Okay. Fresh Hot Ones box. Season 20. What is happening? <laughs> what is wrong? We're struggling around here, guys. Where's the remote to this TV? 
I don't know. How do I get out of here? That's what I'm saying. Okay. Taco vibes only. Sticker. If you survive, you get the sticker. Is this Hell yeah. What's the spiciest thing you've ever eaten? The hot chip. Was that bad? It was terrible. I literally had to end my stream because... So you eat it, it's not bad on the tongue, and then it gets to your stomach, and it's like cramps that are so bad that it makes you go into like a fetal position. Ah! Uh, and I literally thought I had to go to the ER. Ah! Uh, and it makes you constipated. I didn't know like spicy shit makes you constipated. What the fuck? That's how hot it was. What the fuck? Oof. Um, I usually don't participate in this, but I can participate um, if it is requested. Um, also, just a heads up, uh, we had uh, the Discord prep the questions, but uh, Austinox fixed them. So um, <laughs> we'll see. I actually haven't read through the questions. Hopefully it's not something fucking bad. Uh, if it is, at least you'll end up on his Twitter um yeah for Asinox is a great friend of mine but he fucking scares me like when it comes to content he is a demon yeah kind of unhinged uh i hope it's nothing bad i don't think aura would let something crazy bad on um that's hassan's head editor head mod he said head mod asti doesn't even mod yeah he just mm -mm. He just creates situations. <laughs> Puts Hassan in a whole bunch of situations he wanna be in. <laughs> and then he gets blamed for it. Matching purple. Oh, we are matching. What the fuck? I love it. What's your plans for today? So today I'm doing this. And mm -hmm. then I'm going on Miz's stream, mm -hmm. and I'm going to yassify him, mm -hmm. which means I'm going to do his makeup and make him pretty. And you do have a surprise for him as well. Yeah, the surprise, <laughs> I'll tell the story there, but it was a fucking disaster. It was one of the funniest things that ever happened. You'll see later today. <laughs> Buddy, right. you're kind of harassing us with that ball. Dude, these dogs are, are taking over. So where's the, the food at? The food is um, ready in three minutes really yes so three check minutes. check can you guys hear us does it sound okay now hello is everything fine be nice to buddy we are nice to buddy yeah do you want some water yeah can i get a water please do you want ranch as well oh no thank you it sounds good mm. yes motherfucker do something crazy for three minutes man what could we do that would be crazy right now Stick something. No, we're okay. So we have extra cameras. Let me test them. Okay. Up. Oh. Nope. They don't okay. work. Well, I gotta go like this. See, there we go. There's a camera oh over there. And there's this camera. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Suck the mics. Hey, request. Can we put the chat up so we can read the chat? Can we put it up with the same screen that the OBS is in so it looks like we're looking at the cameras and not down into oblivion? Sir. You are so cute. Sir. Yeah, Moira. Of course we can do that. Okay. Thank there you. you go. Chat, we can see you now a little bit better. Amazing, amazing. Did I, is this not in the right scene, perhaps? Oh. Mmm. Mmm. The chick said she wanted water. I'm going to go get it, but it doesn't make any sense that I go and grab it now when the food is ready in one minute. Well, it does make sense now, but it didn't make sense earlier because it was good. Whatever. So how's Austin treating you? I love it. I actually really do like it. Um, what? I don't know. It's, it's like a nice community here. Like, I don't know. I was telling Melina, like, I had a bad perception of it only because it seemed like Kona, because it's like fucking Texas. 
True, but... But it isn't Kona. It's not. It's actually a really nice city. What? what? What about the people here? And the people are really fucking nice. What? No, I heard otherwise on live stream fails. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> she hasn't met Miz yet? I did, though. She did, though. Wow, that's crazy. This place isn't that bad, and the people here aren't that bad. Wow. She will learn. <laughs> she will learn. Listen. What TV say? Nick, she went to 6th Street. I'm not a partier, though. That's the thing. I don't drink or anything. But yeah. I was so nervous, like, at 6th Street, because everybody was like, you're going to fucking die, like, basically. That didn't happen, did it? No. I made it. I am going to steal Bunky, though. That's going to be my mission before I leave. Who's Bunky? Miss Kiff's uh, cat. Miss has a cat called Bunky? Mm hmm Doesn't he have a cat called... Chompy. Chompy? Jesus. I didn't know he had so many animals. Dude, as long as these streamers don't get dogs, it should be okay. Because these dogs are a different breed. Yeah. And these ones kind of need to... They need to leave. You need to go do something else... Oh, Money. it's Emmy's cat? Yoink. Yeah, easy, easy. Oh, there we go. So I'm excited. I'm glad you have a lot of fun here. So yeah. What has been like, um, hmm, what has been the biggest surprise about Austin so far? I guess how, like, like interconnected and nice everybody is. Like, there's, like, a, people hanging out all the time. Oh, oh really? <laughs> Except you. I never get invited. <laughs> no one invites me out. Ooh. They're like, nah, Nick, you don't get to come this time, buddy. And I, I'm like, guys, please invite me. And they're like, we don't no. want old people there. No, yeah, they like you, you cramp the vibe, old man. <laughs> you know, they don't want me to hang out. You know, it's crazy. Yeah, no one ever invites me, guys. So all I do is sit at home and I eat food to cure my depression. <laughs> so, yeah, it happens. Yeah, it does. Uh, you're always asleep. It's true. It's true, actually. Except for when Melina, when Melina goes out, I was so worried about Melina being out that I couldn't sleep myself. That's why we didn't stream on Sunday. Is because Melina was out. Like I was gonna go to sleep, but she was like, "Yo, I went to Sixth Street." And I'm like, "Oh no!" So then I got nervous, and I couldn't fall asleep because Melina's my pride and joy. She's my everything in life. And then I thought that maybe she was a, uh, you know, maybe she, because she, she's kind of stupid when she goes out. Example that she fell down the <laughs> stairs. You know, so I just want to make sure she was okay. Yeah. Yeah, she was good, so. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? What is turning on and off? Maybe it's this thing. Honey dicking around. I love that phrase. I never heard of it before until, like, I came here. Honey dicking. I learned I learned a lot of bad words in English that I casually used and I was like until someone morally nice was corrected me and then I was like okay shit you only you Maybe only I shouldn't have said you that. only heated up this many no the rest is in the oven so it stays warm and I'll go get it oh she's so smart uh, all right can you guys see everything testing okay ready Yes. Ready to start? All right, Oro, turn it on. Let me see if we can see everything. Unfortunately, let's see if the questions. I hate when it's on that back monitor because that back monitor just looks so. Oh, so where should we put this now? On the table. The table. Okay. So the way this works, do you know how to do this? I'm sure you do. I've watched it before. Yeah. Like on on YouTube. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So we have super hot sauces now. The, the way it works is I'm going to ask you a question. Wait, I forgot personal plates. Okay. We're waiting for the personal plates. Okay. And it goes from the least hot to the most hot. Okay. So some of these ones at the end here are just absolutely unfairly hot. And it, it doesn't even taste good. Now, a lot of them taste really good. Um... But some of them are just like, fuck you hot. So, and the way it works is we pour 
we dab. Do you know what a dab is? No. Like, is this like a little baby dip? Yeah, it's not like like that. You know, that's... Actually, you know what? It kind of is, because you kind of just dab a little bit of the sauce. So, actually, it's the same thing. Holy shit. I guess we just learned. Yeah. Yeah. Is this IP theft? No, they make these boxes. They want you to buy it. You know? That's how they make, some, they make extra money this way. You know? So... Yeah. Um... Okay, perfect. Emily did not get herself a plate. So, I'm allergic. So I, can I just ask you a question? And I don't want you to get upset at all. Then don't ask it. Well, I just don't want you to get upset. Just don't ask the question. But you, I, ha I have to know. What? Why, why do you think it's okay to not participate? I forgot a plate. <laughs> Give me your plate. You can have that. You know, like I'm just curious. You know, what I'm saying so. It just it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Uh, allergic, by the way. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, let's get the first sauce. Now, this first sauce, guys, is called Hot Ones, the classic. So it's only 1600 Scoville heat units. So that is the, whatever measurement they use to measure hotness. I don't even know what like what a jalapeno would be considered, but. I don't even know where this even came up with, if it's real. The best thing to do is always got to shake it. Except from one of the bottles, we got a recall notice on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. So apparently, guys, there's a recall on, let me check. on this box. And we had bought it before the recall came out. And one of these bottles is prone to explode on opening. So we got to figure it's, out. It's Brooklyn Deli. Brooklyn Deli? Okay, so number five. This is the ghost. The ghost pepper hot sauce is prone to explosion. So it's number five there. Is this one? Let yeah, me... leave, leave it there. Just leave it there Wait, for now. Wait, can I just check if it has the batch number that we should be worried about? Yeah, so, I mean, we, we can just handle it, Melina. Like, yeah, we can be handled. Yeah, there we go. Open it outside. Yeah, and that one's hot as fuck. That's like uh, 39,000 uh, Scoville heat units. And this one has ghost peppers and whatever. We'll get through when we oh, get there. Oh, yep. This is on recall. This that one's on recall. This specific So bottle. what is it on recall for exactly, Melina? That when you open it, it explodes. So when you open it, it explodes. So I'm going to open it uh, <laughs> underneath the table, I guess. Right in front of Kevin. So it gets all on Kevin. So, okay. Let me see if I can do this the right way. Uh, I click this. Let me we see. We did get a $30 gift card, though. So thank you to Hitonis for that. Focuses. It's in there. Wait. Maybe it's on manual. I gotta go test. I gotta go check. Yeah. Is your keyboard under your chair, Nick? Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> Should we just show all bottles to get it out of the way? No. Buddy, Kevin, get out. Oh. I don't want to hear you. Kevin, get out. Nick, we can share a plate. <laughs> Kevin, out. Kevin. No, you cannot run from me. <laughs> Kevin, get out. Kevin, Go. out. Get out. Go. Get out. Kevin, out. Out. He looks so sad. I'm coming after you. Out. <laughs> Karma. Holy shit. You didn't close that door. They're going to come right back in. Okay. I saved it. I'm letting you here. Okay. Deserved. Oh, wrong one. Wait. I tripped. I think I unplugged the cable. Jesus. Oh, I did. Wait, how did that happen? Wait, I turned all these off. This camera quality is really good. And I'm like, it's so like crispy. You have like the biggest, bluest baby eyes right now in this camera. <laughs> it's it's crazy. I'll never get my eyebrows on Frogan level. I don't think any of us can, so. Listen, okay. I, I fucked them up, but I've grew them out for like years. Your eyes are great. Okay. Ready to start? 
Yeah. First. First. Let's do it. So, you dab, dab yourself. Up. Yeah, you dab it up. Yeah, so, this is Mrs. Camera that we stole. Do. So you open it, uh-huh. and you just put as much on as you think you can handle. Yeah. So mine are like falafels. Mm-hmm. I went into Kava. I was like, hey, can I just buy three boxes of falafel? <laughs> they were really nice. It was only 18 bucks. What is falafel? Um, it's a chickpea. Uh, it's really good. Cilantro? I, I get it in, um, in my stuff. Okay. Question is, where does the name Frogan come from and does it come from frogs? Okay. Oh, parsley. Why is it kind of spicy? Wait, that's hot. This is number one. Oh, it kind of, it's kind of spicy, not going to lie. Okay, so Frogan comes from my teen fan account days. I used to be Frogan Meeman. People used to call me Morgan Freeman growing up because my name is Morgan. And I was watching these YouTubers called Dan and Phil. And Phil said Frogan Meeman. And I was like, fuck, that's like a good Twitter name. <laughs> and then in 2012, I made it that. And as I got into like Discord and Twitch, people called me Frogan as short and I just, it just stuck. Nick, no snacking. Please stop. Please I'm... stop. We have 30. And I told you not to do that for a reason. I said 30. You're ruining this. You're such a fucking jackass, dude. I'm glad your stream bullies you, like, early in the morning. <laughs> I, I try to make, like, the mood better. But now I think you deserve it, because you just, like, don't give a fuck. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Okay, sorry. Have the cap. Nick, did you even hear yes. what she had to say? Yeah, from YouTube. Okay, repeat it. From YouTube, Dan and Phil. Okay. Discord. Yeah, I listen. Why do you think I don't listen? I don't know, you're busy ruining this time. So everyone just ruins my self-confidence. Because everyone's like, Nick, you're a problem. Nick, you're a problem. Nick, you're ruining this. Nick, you're doing this. Nick, you're... And it's getting But to also, the... she's also talking and you're like dishwashing with like your mouth open. So like people can't hear what she says because they're focusing on, on you just like smacking. Your eyes look really black today. Is that the demon coming out? Yeah. The devil? Yeah. I can see it. Yeah. <clears throat> no, that's even true. Someone said she's jealous of your greatness. I know. They're right. You should have put these in the oven a little bit longer. You should have fell down the stairs with me. Okay. So you want to know where my name came from? So NMPLOL is my initials, which is Nicholas Michelle Pollum. Then lots of love. Because LOL used to be lots of love. Oh. Or laugh out loud. Yeah, I was going to say laugh out loud. Or League of Legends. So, Boy league? no. You used to? No. But yeah, those are my names. And Melina's name is Melina. So that's where we got our name. I'm named from. up after my great grandmother. Her name was Maline. And then Tootie is because I can. And it was just the name of the sound that I used to make when I was quirky. But now she's like dead inside. Yeah. Twitch will do that to you. Yeah. That's it. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Okay. How spicy was this? It was kind of, it had a kick to it low key. Okay. So I'm scared. So, uh, okay. So the next one is going to be five times hotter than that one. Oh, damn. Okay. And this one, I'm not kidding you. It's called Chiquandas. Yeah. Um, this is a ranch inspired hot sauce. It's dreamy, creamy texture is from... Tahini. Oh, so that would go good with falafel. Uh, what's tahini? Is that a country? <laughs> it's like a a Middle Eastern sauce that people typically eat. Like okay. Falafel and like I should know that because it was a lowercase t, so therefore it's not a country. Uh, chives and a pinch of dill added herbaceousness. What? Lemon provides the tang and just a pinch of smoked... Savathai chili lens subtle 
Subtle. 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 Su- subtle. Oh, God. Do you want me to Earthy read? Heat. So this is called Shaquandas. And okay. um, it looks... It looks like this. Amazing. Okay. And then as you eat it, yeah. we'll pop up the next question. Yes. So this is ranch. I actually recently just started loving ranch. I didn't really like it when I was growing up. I only eat my chicken tenders with ranch. Yeah. See, that's good. Okay. Who has had the greatest impact on your life, good or bad, and why? <laughs> that's kind of a deep question. There's no way Austin Knox prep these, prep these questions because they're actually nice. How is that nice? This could be a real question, dude. Hmm. The greatest impact on your life. Did you eat it? Yeah, it's not that bad. I guess my old mentor that's mad at me that I quit my job for streaming. Uh, she inspired me to go into public health. And she helped me a lot with like school and everything. But as soon as I quit, she cut me off. <laughs> no. So we don't talk anymore. She got really mad at me because really? I put a two weeks notice in. She's like... You should have, we should have worked out a timeline, like a two weeks notice is for bosses. I'm like, you weren't my boss. So like, I thought I did it the right way, but she's mad at me still. So what is a mentor? Yeah. What's a mentor? Uh, so basically, um, so I went into, I got my master's in public health, um, but before I was like pre-medicine and she would like, she basically mm. gave me research opportunities and helped me with like any questions I had, extracurriculars. Um, and you abandoned her for streaming. Yeah. Streaming ruins relationships, doesn't it? It does. Do you think she cut you off because she was hurt? She was. Okay. Oh. But like. That's kind of sad. It is sad. But. And now you're dumb. Exactly. Wait, have you gotten have you gotten more dumber? I feel like I have. I try to read every day, uh, to maintain. Did you have a high GPA? In grad school, I had a three point six, but it would have been higher. God damn. Because I did pass fail for COVID. Mm. But I end up getting all A's in those classes. Mm-hmm. But it didn't count. Oh my god! But yeah. Not bad. <clears throat> uh, yeah, that is crazy. Impressive, truly. Chat. <laughs> what's your GPA, guys? Two point three, two point zero. What you guys got? Something like that, probably a little bit lower. My GPA was a three point zero. 2.2, okay. Zero. <laughs> Zero point eight. <laughs> I dropped out. Okay. There we go. 69.420. Nice. There we go. Uh, not bad. Not bad. I don't have a GPA because I didn't go to school in America, so I can't relate to all your so, GPA is grade point average. Yeah. So what was the question? Who is who is your biggest inspiration, good or bad? Mm-hmm. So it was a good inspiration, but hmm. it just sucks that she's mad. I know. Angry. Sorry that happened to you. What about you, Melina? Who's your greatest inspiration? I don't know. How about you? Well, I haven't had inspiration up until recently. It was this guy I found on Instagram. <laughs> His name is the Top G. And I've been just... Everything he says to me just resonates so well and... Where's your Bugatti? I'm working on it. I'm working on it, yeah. My mom. That's it. My mom's my biggest inspiration. It's a boring answer, but it's true. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Um, Oh, greatest impact. Oh. Who has the greatest impact on my life? Wow. The greatest impact. You know who has the greatest impact on my life? Who? Myself. (laughs) Because all the choices I make really do impact me a lot. And my entire life, every choice I've made has really impacted me so much. You know, it really has. Um, I've made some bad choices. I've made some good choices. But overall, it's definitely just been me the whole time. Melina? I'm surprised you didn't say Maya. We lost her. The one that got away. 
The one that I never had. <laughs> I thought I did. But that was all in my head. Pure delusion. Truly. You know what they call it on TikTok? What? Your Delulu. Delulu? Delulu. Why? Why do they say that? Slang. You're in your Delulu era. Wow. I I have really lost touch with what's going on. Because like, I remember back when Vine came out, I was on Vine. I was doing Vine. I was like doing the new things that came out. And I don't know what happened, but now that I've gotten older, I've just stopped doing anything like that. Like I don't go on TikTok. I don't do shorts. I don't do any of this stuff. <laughs> I've just completely lost it, dude. TikTok will ruin your fucking life. Why? It's addicting. Like, How? You, like, you just scroll and then like two hours later, you're like, oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I used TikTok for a while. Now I only use TikTok when Brit sends me these doomsday recommendation things for like our bunker that we're going to get sometime in the future. But I noticed that when I used TikTok, I was very unhappy with everything else that I watched. And it's because you get this instant satisfaction from the videos. And then I, it makes me not want to watch TV. I can't watch Twitch. Can't fucking listen to people without sitting there just like get to the fucking point. So I was like, nope, this is not a rabbit hole that I want to go down. Do you think, uh, <laughs> do you think they should ban TikTok? I don't know enough about the situation to uh, speak and I don't want to preach on things that I'm uninformed about because that would be very irresponsible. Do you, you think they should ban Twitch? Why would they ban Twitch? I think they should ban the internet. I agree. I think they should. Okay, next question. Okay, number three. So, wait, whoa, what are you doing? We haven't even read the sauce yet, Melina. You're skipping stuff. Did you shake it up at least? Yeah. Okay, this one... Now, the last one was 6,000 Scoville heat units, right? So it really wasn't that hot. Um, and this next one is 15,000. This is called Donis uh, Kadijo. Yeah. It's, I think it's... Uh, it is... This is from Amelia and Greg. What's weird is I feel like the first one was hotter than the second one. It goes weird. Like up and down, up and down. Yeah. Chat, you guys know Amelia and Greg? They made this. Oh, they suck. There we go. Yeah. We know them. No, we don't. Okay. Here we go. Third question. This is kind of thick. Now, this question, I don't even know if you've been around that long, but... I've been around for almost two years in August. Wow. So the question is, what has been your favorite era in streaming? I feel like my favorite era was uh, when I went full time. Uh, so I guess like, at this point in my life, I went full time April 1st of last year. Mm -hmm. And once I made that full time commitment to streaming, I felt like everything kind of fell into place. Um, so what, what, like, what was going on on Twitch at that time? What did happen? Like, did you watch Twitch before you did Twitch? Yeah, so... So what part of Twitch, like, what meta on Twitch, like, do you like the most, like... My, the best meta on Twitch? Yeah. Like, that's what kind of what that means. Mm -mm. Was it, like, the Hassan... You have to eat it, then answer. Oh. Oh, my God, I'm being exposed in chat. Did you play Among Us? Mm mm. So. I joined Twitch in 2018 because Hassan tweeted he was on Twitch. And I was like, what the fuck is Twitch? So, for like the first year on Twitch, I only watched him because I didn't know anybody else. Wait, wait. <clears throat> so, for, for a whole year, you came on Twitch to only watch Hassan. Mm hmm. And then when he logged off, did you also leave? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I didn't know anybody else, but then um, 
I started watching like the Royales, like Austin's Royales, and um, then like I found like Cutie and other people, and I watched like her events, like Shit Camp, and that's how I found like a lot of other people I would like casually watch. Wow. Did you watch Shit Con, the first one? Yes. Yeah, because Hassan came here for yeah. that. Yeah, that was. That he was brought fun. a lot of people. Like we got a lot of influx from another communities. That was pretty fun. So, which which we'll we'll make this a little bit more specific. Which Hassan drama has been your favorite one he's been in? <laughs> I feel like a lot of them are so stupid. Um, the nine eleven one was so fucking funny. Yeah. Um, it wasn't funny at the time because it it was like, oh fuck, like this could be really bad. But I feel like that was like the start of his, like, come up on Twitch. So a lot of people are born <clears throat> through a little bit of scandals, like a little bit of drama to get your name out there. Yeah, you know. So uh, I I have to say my favorite Hassan drama was uh when he bought a house and how mad how mad the world was when he bought a house. And it's just like, it's just so funny just watching people see them in their, in their seats, you know, that this guy bought a house and, you know, they're over there living, you know, in their mom's basement, screaming and yelling about Hassan's, like how he's the worst person on the planet. Or oh, the Gucci shirt too. That was so fucking funny. And Wait, a, he bought a Gucci shirt? He bought a Gucci shirt and Austin Ox tweeted about it and it went viral on Twitter and people were like, you fake socialist, you don't need a no. thousand dollar shirt. It was a thousand bucks? Yeah. That is kind of fucked up. <laughs> He spent a thousand hours on a shirt. I'm over here wearing Kevin merch. <laughs> Bro, that's that's actually kind of fucked up. Oh. Wait, how did I ruin the question? Wait, what did I do wrong? Wait, can I see the Gucci shirt that Hassan bought? Is it at least cool? Let me Google it real quick. Is it called Hassan Gucci shirt? Yeah, if you type that in, it'll come up. You're going to laugh. Let me see. Oh. Hassan Gucci shirt. There's no... So I, I found a thread with 200 comments discussing the shirt. But I have no picture of said shirt. Hold on, let me see. Wait, what the heck? I found it on Hassan Piker... Oh, and here's a 1,400 upvoted thread about Hassan's Gucci shirt on Destiny subreddit. Wait, is that the shirt? I found it. It's, it looks like a, it looks like the one with like like a. Is it blue? It's blue and it has an island on it. Yeah. He spent a thousand hours on that. Well, thank you, Destiny's Reddit, for showing me the picture. <laughs> it's one thousand one hundred and fifty dollars. And he got hate threads over this. Maybe he, thr- <laughs> maybe he thrifted it. <laughs> it was a Coachella fit. Uh, it was a Coachella uh, fit, and people were, like it blew up. Uh, and for the like, cultural appropriation too. People. Oh my god, dude! You know what? It's so hard when you're like when you're like like Hassan's just a man, right? He's just a man, but when when just a man buys a shirt and it causes so much rift. It's kind of hard to not be like, wow, I'm kind of that guy that I can just wear a shirt and everyone wants to talk about. I mean, this is how I feel, <laughs> you know, because like I talked to Train for 10 seconds. I get 900 comments on Reddit and it just makes me feel like powerful kind of. I don't know. Maybe I was projecting, but like it's just, you know, it's just, it's just crazy. Like people put you on this pedestal and then they talk about you and all this stuff and like who cares if a sign has a thousand dollar shirt, you know? And at the end of the day, he's probably going to give it to charity one day, right? It's it's the year 2040. You're at a thrift store and you see the Gucci shirt. And all Twitch streamers merch. Oh my God. Right next to each other. Dude, it's crazy. You see like fucking Shane Dawson merch and stuff at thrift stores now. Like you, pe- people are done can with I, YouTube. Can I show you a shirt that I'll never wear again? Yeah. All right, let me go grab it. Gotta feel good to be a giant piece of shit. What are you talking about, me or us? Oro, listen, it's fine. For what? Oro said that Nick ruined one of the questions. 
What? This one? Which one did he... I think, I'm assuming it's about Hasi. Why is Melina so down? Honestly, it's because I can't see the chat. The microphone's blocking it, so I'm trying to just be in the moment. But there's no way for us to fix yeah. it. Now, a lot of people have probably seen this shirt a lot on like a certain someone's stream. But I want to say for the record, I had it first. But since they wear it all the time, I can no longer wear it. You ready? <laughs> Wait, who wears that? I don't watch Twitch. Felix. Oh. We will never wear it. <laughs> I can wear it. Yeah. Yeah, I bought this shit a long time ago. Actually, it hit me. Uh, <laughs> I had a realization about Gucci like... um. Like maybe a year and a half ago, ago, and I'll never buy that stuff ever again, because I realized that I was buying it for the wrong reasons. Now I didn't personally think it looked cool, but when I bought it, it was more like seeking the approval of strangers and other people, and it hit me. I don't care what these people have to think. Period. So I was just like, you know, I'm not going to buy this shit anymore. How you dress, though, and how you carry yourself, it changes the way people act towards you a lot. Like, I will go to AGB with a bun dressed, like, awfully, and then uh, they'll be not as nice to me as when I'm, like, with I have makeup on and my posture is good. It's very different. That's all true. The time. Thanks for the raid, Brother John. Talk you on. Um, yeah, it's true. People like, especially if you're in LA in LA, you kind of have to kind of fit in over there Mm because I've never seen like more people try so hard in LA. Mm -hmm. Like I'll go into Shake Shack and like the the guy working there, you know, is got Gucci belt, Gucci shoes, just working at Shake Shack. And I'm just like, bro, I know how much you're getting paid. It took like three weeks. You know, it's like, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth the buy. But either way, let's move on. We all love Hassan. Here. Next. Next question. This is number four. I gotta go change clothes. I'm like sweating. Okay. This is uh, Los Calientes Verde. Can you get some more chicken wings up here? Someone ate all these ones. Yeah. yeah. Um, this one is. I'll read what they said. Okay. No, we don't. Wait, you guys don't love Hassan? Why? <laughs> what happened, guys? I love Hassan. Hassan's so nice to me. I'm going to be honest, every streamer is so nice to me. Like every streamer has, every streamer, every big streamer has been really nice to me. There hasn't been one that's not. What is Hisan? They're calling him a snake. People were calling me a snake because I was talking to Train. Is it, is it Hispalum too? <laughs> is it Hisan and Hispalum? Is that what we're doing too now? Like, oh my god. What play are they going to come up with? Let's see. This is crazy. Oh no. Guys, do you, can I just say for the record chat <laughs> that you guys get more upset than your streamer does about streamer drama? Can, can, you, can you just tell me that you guys comprehend that? That there there really isn't teams like you guys <laughs> make it to be. We're all on the same team here. You know, team milking you guys for money. We're all on the same team. You understand, like, there isn't this. You know, know, know what people used to call me what? like back in the day? They're like, Black Judas. Oh <laughs> <laughs> like, like back, like back in the day with like Chance and like in the, like in Mitch drama, <laughs> they were like Black Judas. <laughs> uh, it was a, uh, it was something else, dude. It, it really was. Um, but okay, let's get into the next sauce here, guys. So this one is. I don't know if she shook it up, so I'll shake it up. Okay. Los Calientes Verde. This is... um... Thank you. There we go. That one. This one is 36,000 Schoolville heat units, guys. Um, There's a reason the the Serrano and Habanero Lace Verde version of Los Calientes has become a staple of any hot sauce collection. It's smoky, sweet, and just right heat. You ready? Yes. Dab your shit. Okay. Now I'll ask you the question. The question is, 
What is your number one bucket list band or artist you'd like to see? And what is your most memorable concert experience? Ooh, okay. So I've been to 130 concerts. She counts. Yeah, I have like a document where I like write every single one I've been to down. 130 concerts? Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to eat it first. One second. Do you know how many I've been to? How many? One. And it was Muse? And it was Muse. I mean, that's a good first concert. It it is, but now he's probably gonna expect. That's gonna ruin your life. All of concerts to be that good. I always keep going to the Muse ones. Okay, so the question. Ooh, that's hot. Okay. Bucket list? Uh, hmm. I'm not going to lie. I've seen every artist I've wanted to see. Actually, no. Bad Bunny. Dead or Alive. I haven't seen Bad Bunny. I want to see Bad Bunny so okay. bad. What about Dead or Alive? Is Bad Bunny that girl from Dr. Phil? Fuck no. That's Who? Bad Baby. <laughs> oh. Bad Bunny's a Puerto Rican legend. Who? He's, uh, he's the biggest artist in the world now. I've never seen him, though. Nick, I think you've seen him in like uh, Instagram compilations of, of like football. Nick, you know the song? Da 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 da. Da 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 da. You know? Okay, um, let's da, Google da, it. Da, 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 da. It's, it's, it's. No. Let's find out. I can't speak the language, so. I can also pull it up on my phone. He's the biggest artist in the world? Yeah, like last year. So he's better than Justin Bieber. Mm hmm. I don't believe that. Most streamed artist in the world last year. And the year before, I think, too. How come I've never heard of him until now? You live under a fucking rock. Really? Am this I is what happens of... when you don't leave your house. So how do you say it? B-A-D. Bad. Bunny. Bunny. And it's a dude. That looks like Hassan. No, he doesn't. That picture on the left? What's what's the best song? T-T. T-T. TD me. Of, can we yeah. change the title, by that the way? One. It's yeah, like it. Lift a Thon Champion. Can we change it? change it? This this is the best. This is it. All right. Yeah, this is one of my favorite songs. Click through because it's like empty space in the beginning. understand what he's saying no and this is the biggest artist on the planet yeah bigger than enrique iglesias yeah <laughs> bigger than eminem yeah at this point when was the last fucking time eminem even released anything i mean this sincerely you hate it, don't you? No, I don't hate it. Oh, okay. Can I have the sauce? But this this is the first time I have heard that song. Now you want to you want to hear what I, songs I listen to? Yeah. Is this old? I don't know. See, it's like the same genre, yeah, right? Yeah, so you would like Bad Bunny. Especially like his older stuff. Yeah. This is a good one. And then we have this one. This is all from TikTok. <laughs> it's actually Neymar. Neymar dances to all those songs. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> ne Neymar dances to all those songs. You know Neymar? Soccer player? Yeah, so I like it because of him. But all right, cool. And then the most memorable concert. Yeah. So Big Time Rush yeah. is one of my favorite bands ever. Yeah. And last summer, I got to go on stage with them. What? During the concert, and I'll never fucking forget that shit. That was one of the best moments of my life. I was like, I peaked there. Is this them? Yeah. <laughs> They're old. They are old now. Wait, how old are these people? She showed me like their most popular song, and Ken I've never heard it. Ken Kendall? Kendall Schmidt? That's my king. He's my favorite. Bro, this... He's older than me. He's born in 1990. 
This is your favorite group? Yeah, they're my favorite boy band. I mean, it's a man band. They're 32, when 33. I to them, they were they're, like, they're like budget One Direction, right? No, they were here before One Direction. Yeah, but One Direction was better, right? No. What? Big Time Rush made One Direction. I mean, yeah, Big Time Rush made One Direction. What? I love One Direction. <laughs> One Direction literally opened for Big Time Rush. Really? Mm-hmm. Like, warm it up. Yeah. Dude, this oh, song shit. here, Story of My Life, this is my shit, dude. <laughs> I love One Direction. I I am Harry Styles. You are Harry Styles. Yeah. No, I love it. Yeah, that's that's my shit, dude. Oh my god. I actually uh, I actually want to go to um I want to go to a Blink-182 concert. TwitchCon. Are they going to be there during TwitchCon? Dude, TwitchCon Vegas is about to be a fucking disaster, okay? Why? There's, I don't, when, I don't know. I'm, I'm not I don't know if I'm looking forward to it. It's it's This is where I get my social anxiety from, by the way. No. You've ruined me. No. All your fears you've imprinted on me because the only thing in life I'm not Listen, I'm not scared of it, but let me just explain why. So, when we go to San Diego, right? And it's it's the San Diego TwitchCon, it's everyone that's walking around, it's TwitchCon attendees, like a little town, Twitch takes over. But when we go to Vegas, it's going to be us. It's going to be the prostitutes. It's going to be the gamblers. It's going to be the concerts goers that's going the same weekend. And it's going to be so many fucking people that I don't even know if we're going to be able to move around. Yeah, there's a huge festival the same weekend of TwitchCon. It's a 12 hour festival and it's like all the pop punk shit, like Blink 182, uh, it's like a boomer one. I'm not going to lie. But, like, older. Isn't that crazy that you just called Blink-182 boomer? I mean, compared to the, the lineup last year, it is boomer. Like, last year was, like, the all American Rejects, so the Day to Remember, or, like... Who? Who? <laughs> Who are we talking about? Oh, my God. No, but... Blink-182 is boomer? <laughs> Bro, if Blink-182 is boomer, then I'm a boomer. I'm young. I'm, s- I'm young and supple. <laughs> to who? Melina. I choose not to speak. Like Mark Hoppus is old enough to be my dad. If you're old enough to be my dad, you are a boomer. That's kind of fucked up. You know he's sick, right? Who? Mark Hoppus. No, he's he's cancer free now. Fuck! What am I gonna guilt trip you with now? Nothing. Oh my god. You know Tom DeLonge so like, is crazy. So right? if that if if Mark Hoppus and, and Tom DeLonge are boomers, what's like Trump and Biden? Dead? Basically, they might as well be fucking fossils. <laughs> dude, dude, <laughs> that's my dad's age. I love Blink One Eight Two. No, I mean they're good, but the lineup last year was like uncomparable to like anything they'll ever do again. Well. Didn't they cancel one of the days because yeah, of wind? Yeah, because of the fucking wind. Yeah, so... Imagine it being too windy. So you can see Blink-182 leave TwitchCon? Hmm. So... Fuck it. They're playing in Austin on the 7th of July, or 6th of July, but TwitchCon Paris is 7th and 8th of July, so... I don't think we should go to TwitchCon Paris. Why not? No one in Europe likes us. Why would we go there? So they can hate us? <laughs> There's... A lot more Europeans in the morning than and anything else. Yeah, but they don't like us. Um, I think they do. <gasps> Wait, you know how Twitch always has like musical performances at TwitchCon? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you think we're gonna get like a, a big fucking band since they're all gonna be there anyways? If you want to hear the truth, no, Damn. because I think Twitch literally fired everybody and they have no money left. <laughs> also. So. Does the logical boring question or answer is probably when they do sets, they probably have a team that does sets for them and they're already going to be set up at the festival. Oh, yeah, it's like spinning. They have like spinning stages, so it's a half stage and they get ready behind. And as soon as the set, they flip it. It's so weird because it's so stacked. I don't know. I hope we get something cool. I, but everyone's going to be unhappy no matter what. Like last, last year, um, Megan Thee Stallion was fun as fuck. I didn't go. It was really fun. I fell asleep. And then the... I did not go to that either. Melina, Melina always goes out without me. Isn't that kind of weird? But you choose not to go out, and I'm supposed you to just su- live my you life. You should support your man at home and not go out. 
Okay. Um, you should support me by eating healthy food and, and chewing with your mouth closed. <laughs> See, we can't all have what we want in life. And I'm not going to subject myself to live a boring life just because you choose to. And because that would, then I would hold resentment against you. So do what you want. And um, don't fall for the guilt trip. And just stay safe. Don't do stupid shit. Okay. Okay, the next one we're opening ha- so is this, a recall. So this is the recall that explodes. Now, this one is ghost pepper sauce in it. I love how you're only covering your eyebrows. <laughs> no, not the pressure. So Melina, can you handle this one? Nope. You want me to do it? It explodes, dude. It's it does. part of the batch where... It- dude! Are you fucking retired? <laughs> like, what is wrong with you? You gotta shake it up. Okay. I'm not... No, I'm not part of this. So this is Brooklyn Deli Ghost Pepper Hot Sauce. This is hotter than the last one by a little bit. Open it in the schlanket. <coughs> we will show this one. Now, apparently, it explodes. It's been recalled, so... I'm just gonna open it did like you, this. Did you take the Was plastic it, off? This is exact... Did you take the plastic off? No. But maybe the plastic's where it explodes. So, the, like, all the guys in chat, you know what I'm doing now, right? You guys have all done this. You you make sure it all, you know, goes into the napkin. I need glasses. So, chat knows what's good. Yeah. Chat, I you know. I hope it does explode. Why am I scared? Chat, you guys know. I'm yeah. scared. There we go. They also said it would be oozing out, so you got to put it on the plate. Okay, so here we go. I'm taking all the black off. Okay. You guys ready? It's not going to explode. It's not going to explode? It might. There's a lot of pressure in this one. I can feel it. (laughs) Okay. It's good. Okay. So I got a free $30 gift card for no reason. Yes. Free 30 bucks plus 30 for the boys. Okay. It okay. said it's been over fermenting in the bottle or whatever. And it can, it's, it's at risk of explosion and then oozing out. That's good. Okay. Plus 30. Okay. This Brooklyn deli chef, uh, Citra Araguil honors Indian culinary traditions. So it's only fitting that this tomato and masala... Mix hot sauce highlights India's famed Buhat Jolakia ghost pepper oh, yeah. and native Gunter peppers, ushering in a spicier side of season 20. Okay, question five How does it feel to be the top? Say that hijabi <coughs> streamer and what expectations come with it? I don't know what that means. Care to explain? This is absolutely an Austin Ox question, right? Holy fucking hot shit. <coughs> okay. Are you okay? <coughs> okay. Oh no. No, I'm, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so hijabi's a scarf. Um, so I'm the biggest hijabi on Twitch. Um, it's kind of wild, you know? I feel like a lot of people, especially within the Muslim community, kind of come at me and say that what I'm doing is not representative of Islam, even though it doesn't say not to stream in the Quran if you want to get technical with it. Wait, say that one more time. Um, People in the Muslim community shits on me for streaming. A lot of them do. Oh, my Um, God. Thank you. And (laughs) and I said it's like it doesn't say that it's it doesn't say in the Quran that you can't stream. Thank you. Um, so I feel like I'm held to this, like, weird fucking, like, standard, and I'm, like, under a microscope, uh, with every single thing I do, whether it be me simply sitting there, what I wear, how I talk, what I say, people get mad. Oh, my God. Um. Get mad at what? Oh, like, you say bad words, you're a fake Muslim, you do this. Like the Boba thing? Are Muslims not, not allowed to swear? Listen, everyone fucking swears. Everyone fucking swears. Uh, so 
with the expectations from like the Muslim community, I'm expected to be this like, I guess, toned down version of me, and I'm not going to do that. Mm. I'm not. Interesting. Because it's what I've learned from the internet. It's a lot easier to point a finger at someone else. Meanwhile, someone can be like, "Hey, don't don't swear. How dare you?" Two seconds later, shut the fuck up, Billy. Literally. You know, like I've gotten into like arguments with like people, and like at the end of it, they just start calling slurs. <laughs> you know, like, dude, Nick, you're such a bad person, bro. I'm like, really? How come this this is? I get them frustrated. They start slurring out, you know. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I really uh. That's kind of crazy. No, but... What are you going to do about it? Just ignore it? Move on? Simply exist, but... Yeah. Uh, there are, like... There's a community of, like, people saying that, like, me being on Twitch and, like, the internet and the gaming space that's, like, inspiring to them because oh, good. you don't really see people like me in this space at all, which is... It's kind of wild. I've learned a lot from you just from hanging out with you the past three days. Really? Yes. And, uh... It's only positive stuff, really. And I like to gain more knowledge of different things and different cultures. And I've had a very positive experience. I'm glad. That's great. She's not bad, guys, (laughs) even though she swears. So let's see if I can form the question in a question for me and Melina. Melina, how does it feel to be the one of the few Norwegians women in America in Texas that stream? (laughs) Well, I'm not like a a big deal in Norway because I don't speak a lot of Norwegian and I don't do a lot of uh, like the Norwegian celebrity environment yeah. is very small. Like you'll you'll go see some of the top celebrities in Norway and they have like 2000 followers on Twitter. Oh, damn. Yes. But they Irrelevant, they yeah. all use the same 10 actors over and over. And it's um, it's very niche. So, so, yeah. But so I don't really feel like that yeah like when we go to norway people take pictures with with nick not with me because he which is, is hilarious he is the famous one norwegians will ignore her yeah and take pictures with me i don't speak a lot of <laughs> norwegian and I, t- I, I don't love it i don't have a big presence in norway at all um yeah and yeah so no it doesn't really feel anything special so it would be cool though if so, i did get a bigger presence in so norway. me i uh if you didn't know i was uh the the first black streamer ever on Twitch. Really? No. But <laughs> um I was the first streamer from Michigan. Gross. You want that? And every time I go back, like people will like welcome me at the airport with like like a parade and flowers. Didn't he go like a massive streamer before you started streaming and you guys went to the same college? college but he's i'm black so okay and i went back and every time i go back they're like they're like nick nick i'm like yes i have returned and they treat me great mm. that's cool okay do you can i have a cap that one was kind of hot yeah I don't know why, but I think I'm getting immune to these things. I have not been suffering. You get some water down down but, there. Yeah, Twitch did leave me out of their Eid video, which is a Muslim holiday. Wait, they let you? They left you out of what? The the Eid video, which is one of the biggest Muslim holidays. Uh-huh. They did like a promotion for it. They said fuck Rogan. So I want you to know that I've been on Twitch for ten years, mm-hmm. partner streamer, one of the biggest black streamers on the platform for a long time, nope. especially especially before the W community showed up. And I've never been invited to Black History Month. Are you fucking serious? I'm dead serious. So don't take it personally. I laugh. I thought it was funny. I was like, damn. Yeah. They I'm just like, they invite who they want to invite. Well, technically, guys, none of us are considered brand friendly. Like we're all that, just that is that is just so not true. You breathe, you get hate thread. You think they want to yeah, deal with that? I'm very brand brand friendly. We do things like Here, eBay, Reese's. You're not brand friendly. This is the next one. Mushroom mayhem. Oh, don't forget about the sweets. The sweets? The ones I got you, pastries. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, we have to try it. 
So you got me snacks. I got them pastry. So Arab culture, you have to bring. You can't come to the house empty-handed. Really? Yeah. I do that all the time. I don't. I don't. Arab I don't do culture. that. My mom just would not let that happen. Like so, either flowers or something. So you, yeah, I got. I brought them baklava because it's downstairs. We'll try it when once once we're done with this. Like once we're done dying. Uh, I don't want to ruin the taste of them yeah, by by doing this in the middle. Um, oof. The only one that I've kind of noticed was was this. By the way, K- King Jeremy the Wicked, I saw that you uh, donated to the to the Liptathon, so thanks, bud. <coughs> I recognized your name. I nice see you in chat today. So mushroom, it has mushrooms in it. I don't know, maybe. Um, okay, are we ready to try this one? The mushroom sauce? Whew. Okay, the mushroom sauce. This is number six. This is 68,000 Scoville heat units. It's called Torchbearer. Oh uh, the Torchbearer crew is back with a fungi-filled hot sauce that combines the mean, mean, meatiness. What? Meatiness. Meat, meat in this. What is this word? M e a t i n e s s. Meatiness. It's like m- matinness. Matinness. What is this word? Meatiness. Like it's. It's rich. not meaty. There's, me- there's no y. No, it's it's with an i. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Like Bambi. Now why, why why would I ever listen to you call me fucking stupid or like you berating me in any oh, any sure. way? If you're trying to correct, never mind. I'm, I'm happy. <coughs> okay, let's try this. Nick, Nick, stop moving like a sloth. You're pissing me off. Oh, I didn't read the rest of it. I got stuck on meatiness. No one cares. It's a hot sauce. Meatiness of the portobellos with tangy, tangy red wine uh, vinegar for condiment that one part steak sauce and one part potent pepper concoction. Things are about to get wild. Exclamation point. So the question is, where do you want to take your streaming career in the future? Anything planned? This is hot as shit. Oh, you think this is bad? We do get to the next one. This next one's brutal. <coughs> oh no! Why are you coughing? Are you not good with hot stuff? I'm allergic to dogs, so my allergies mm. are kind of wild. So I already have a little cough. Can we get some more wings? But this shit... Why? Because these are cold, man. No. They're all cold. So, I want to... <coughs> oh, no, okay. she's dying. No, I'm good. I want to start doing more original content versus, like, reacts. Uh, so, I've been thinking about ways to involve my viewers more into... <laughs> Sorry, I'm like dying. Right it's now. okay. Yeah. I want to put my viewers more into my stream. One thing I started doing, like off the whim, was virgin dating advice with my chatters, and where I have them call in, and it's been funny. Um, I want to create a show I have planned. I just have to do the logistics, and I feel like I know they said streaming, but I want to like branch off of Twitch more and like focus on like YouTube and that's what you're, that's the way to do it. Yeah, YouTube and like Instagram, TikToks. So I'm not just like fully falling back on Twitch because like as content creators, like you have to have that like Twitch is going down, by the way, you have to have the other, it will not be here in three years. You don't think so? I know. So Damn. we have about three years left. So you got juice the next three years. Yeah. Do the best you can. (coughs) I know we will all be on Twitter in three years. So Twitter would be fucking sick. Yeah. I wouldn't even be mad. Yeah, we're going to be on Twitter in three years. Everyone, even you, chat, you guys will all be on Twitter in three years. Calling it now. Uh, old Muskie's taking over. So, um, <clears throat> wait, what did Oro say? The question was the one I had to replace. It was favorite Hassan cancellation, but Nick ruined it. Oro, do you just hate me? Like everything that I do, do you just, do you just, do you just loathe my existence? Is everything just a problem? Like, Why did you ruin it? Jesus. What'd you do? Why'd you ruin it? Well, I already asked one of the questions. Oh, yeah. shit. Jesus, Oro. It's unbelievable. I treat you like a princess. I give you compliments. You know, and this is what happens. It's unbelievable. More water. She's out of water, Melina. 
Wait, what was the question we she just has did? Water. You guys I have water. Here. What was the question? What the question was? Yeah, I forgot. You ready to see streaming career? Oh, yeah. Nice. Cool. What about you, Milena? What's what's your answer to that question? Where's your streaming career in the next three, three, five years? Um I don't know. I don't really see a change happening. This is gonna sound very doomer. I see us doing the same shit because I don't see no fucking end. <laughs> <laughs> because people keep fucking up. Yo, chill, dude, chill. So, <coughs> but I will say I'm very grateful to be able to do this. And I'm grateful that we're done every day at noon because I have whole days, you know, where I just do normal things. And I'm very glad that I don't have to do a physical hard job because I... I don't know if I would be able to because of my hips. Like I was a server for a few months and it just fucking killed me because I couldn't walk. And that was bad. But I'm very grateful that I'm able to do this and we're very comfortable. And yeah. Nick, how about you? So what's going to happen in the next three to five years is I'm going to get in shape and I'm going to be the most motivational, inspirational streamer on the platform. Everyone's going to see my, my, my transition and everyone's going to be like, wow, if you can do it, I can do it too. And I'm just going to be like super healthy, super motivational and everyone's going to love me. They're going to be like, Nick, Nick, remember when you were, when you were lazy and everyone hated you? I'm like, no, I don't even remember that. It's so long ago. And I'm gonna have like twenty thousand subs, and everyone's gonna lean you know, hate threads. I'm gonna sell merch, and everyone's gonna buy it. And I'm gonna go out in public and be like, that's my shirt. And be like, go, Nick, you motivated me. You know, it's gonna be crazy. So like me. Yeah. You're gonna be me. Yeah. That's what I did. Yeah, it's going to be great. <clears throat> so, yeah, there we go. It's going to be awesome. Does anyone believe that's going to happen at all, chat? Anybody? No. Delusions of grandeur. Yeah, more like it, yeah. We're one away from the awful one. No, this is actually the awful one. So, this one actually really, really hurts. What is this one? Okay. <coughs> so, up next is... The one, this one's called Angry Goat. Oh. Dreams of Calypso. Dreams so. of Calypso is a sweet number seven souse. Okay. Uh, with pineapple, mango, and bell peppers. But watch out. Seven pot primo mash makes it hotter than the Caribbean sun. A sizzling number seven sauce takes us into the back half. So I remember last time I had this one, I think this one was by far the worst one. It was even harder than the bomb, if I can remember. So. I'm carefully dabbing. Yeah. This is going to be pain. You know what? There's one that I'm kind of happy that they removed. And it was like oil sauce. It was oil based and it was so painful. Like it burned my entire mouth. Okay, Nick. Someone said the sad part is that Nick has great genetics and would pop probably look incredible if he had applied himself to a consistent training regimen. Guys, if I get super healthy, will you guys stop making fun of me? Well, okay, question number seven. What the hell is this? Paternity Court and 90 Day Fiance are your favorite shows to watch on your stream. Which of those two do you see yourself more likely to appear on in the future? Bro, who asked this question? <laughs> this is an awesome question. It has to be. <laughs> Probably 90 Day Fiance. Oh, I don't my. see myself having a situation where I'm going to have multiple baby daddies to choose from and see who the father of my child is. But if I get desperate enough on dating apps, I probably will set my location to worldwide. And who knows? Maybe I'll be on 90 Day Fiance simply for the content. <laughs> 
It's simply for the content. God, my fucking tongue is burning. Yeah, this one's really hot. I am in pain. A little bit. Not that much, but a little bit. I have not been dabbing that hard. Um, you never do. Um, at least she has a sense of humor. Yeah. Lena, why do you? Why does it feel like you're just in constant agony? Because, do you want to know the truth? Wait. Because you're talking. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. Chat. Do we want to know the truth? We'll let it. We'll let them. We'll let them know. Do you want to know the truth, chat? They're saying yes, because okay. you speak, you speak like the guy from Malcolm in the Middle, and you're just taking so long, and that is like. I can't stand it. How do I make it stop? Well, this one hurts because this one's hot as fuck. <coughs> she needs more water, Milena. Did we tell her that water makes it worse? No. Here. Stevie? His name's Stevie? Does he have asthma? Yeah, thanks for that prime. By the way, you guys subscribe. I think uh, this channel is worth your sub. Did you try the wings, Nick? Yeah. Okay. Now? You, you guys can... Oh, wait. The air, air conditioner is coming on. Hopefully Marty says they regret... Marty, no. This... Is my least favorite. Pat, thank you. This this shit is awesome. Sam, thank you. This shit is fucking horrible. Okay. This is the bomb. Nick, do you want to answer the question? What? Which one do you rather see yourself on of those shows? 90 Day Fiance or Paternity Court? Ah! This one's open. My hands are burning. Wait, did it squirt on you? There's a cut. You just cut yourself? No, there's a cut on the on my hand because I ripped my skin off. I have to go wash this. Blaine just got the bomb into an open wound. What an idiot. And they get worse than this yellow one? So this one here is going to fuck you up. <coughs> Should I get my inhaler? Do you have trouble breathing? I don't want. I don't want to hurt you because this, I'm ready. I did hot chip. It's fine. This one is. I'll get my inhaler. Yeah. Yeah. Get the inhaler. Oh my goodness. Yeah, blur your nose. Take your time. Take your time. Yeah. You need milk. Milk does not help with this. Why does everyone lie? Hi, Nick. Hello. Pain. Do we even have milk? Get her some milk, Melina. We don't have milk. We don't have any milk. No, we don't have milk. <laughs> Someone says, can you shout me out? And got timed out. So I guess the answer to that question is no. You Ice to, cream? You have to open this like this. What this guy say? I'm going to go grab a drink. Do you want yeah, give me some water. Can you fill us up with water? Actually, hey. This, please. Ice cubes. Thank you. Uh, can you please say that my boyfriend should come to bed? Permello, you do not have a boyfriend. Stop pretending like you do. <laughs> He's tired of the delusion, really. Um, there we go. You have to hold the milk in your mouth. Just not quickly. Drink it. That's how it works for anyways. Okay, why don't we just put, like, rubbing alcohol in your mouth then? Because doesn't rubbing alcohol destroy everything? <laughs> Are you trying to kill me on stream? No, I'm just saying, like, the rubbing alcohol, it's like... You, you ever put rubbing alcohol on something and clean something off? It comes off instantaneously. So wouldn't that really just really fix all the problems? You know? That'd be worse. Dude, it is getting cold as balls in here. Oh, my God. Yeah. Would I ever come to India? Me? <laughs> Would I ever come to India? Man... What would I do in India? If you could go anywhere overseas, where would it be? 
I would go to wherever Barry is. Who? Barry, my friend Barry. Oh. She, uh, she's really good at riding motorcycles. Where's Barry, guys? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If I could go anywhere... I, I don't know. What was the question? Where would you go? I want to go to Lebanon, like Turkey, Italy, Greece. Really? Uh-huh. Chat, where would you guys go if you could go anywhere? I bet you guys would want to come to the great states of America, wouldn't you, and see all the wonder and splendor that we have here and just the greatness of the United States of America? What, if we could travel anywhere? Mm-hmm. I don't know. A lot of people saying Japan. Everyone's saying Japan. Wow, Japan's the place to go. Maybe we should go to Japan. Probably the city in Italy that's sinking before it's too late. Venice? Venice Beach? California. Is it Venice? What is it? I don't know. Montana? What is it called? What is it? I also I also really want to go uh to Iceland. Ooh, that's a good one. Like, hang out with uh, the mountain? Yeah, and just explore like old ruins and stuff. Like I, I really I wanna go. All somewhere. I wanna do is go wherever Milena wants to go. Because her being happy is the reason I exist. Do you think we'll have servers in Iceland? Yes. Oh, 100%. There's Costco in Iceland. Did you know that? That threw me off guard. Wow. wow. Are I we ready? I can't believe there's Costco in Iceland. I'm nervous. Yeah, so this next one, guys. I'll read it. I'll read it for Frogan. This is called The Bomb. And... It's just hot as fuck. I'm not even going to read what it says. <coughs> this is probably the hottest one. I think it's even hotter than 9 and 10. And I am worried that when you eat this, you're going to have a bad reaction to it. Because you've been struggling with stuff so far. Speak normally, please. Ah. You're pissing me off. I don't. You're fucking can can I just say for the record, if I choked you as hard as you just choked me, we would no longer have a Twitch channel. I didn't actually choke you. That wasn't real. Nobody saw that. That and then you just AOE gaslit everybody. And it worked. Did you guys see anything? My tongue is still burning from the last one, from the baby diarrhea one. Yeah, that does look like baby diarrhea. See, they didn't see nothing. Can I have some bomb? Okay. I can't say that. Told you. Nick, it's, it's leaked. You're going to get it all over your hands. Wait, why can't you say that? I already get pre-selected by TSA every time. Oh. I do you really, actually? I literally bought TSA pre-check, and they fucking get me. No. Why did I pay $75 to avoid the fucking lines? Really? Here, do you want me to put it on the plate? Yeah. That's crazy. Nick. No one saw Nick. that? What happened? Nick. Monka. I, all these are cold, Melina. Yeah, because you speak so fucking slow. Can I have your plate? Dude, I can bomb myself, dude. Like, I'm not a little... No, because it's full of juice. Like, it's full of stuff. It's, oh, fuck. I put way too much on. Okay, so I can just do, like, a little, like... Let me see how much you're going to put on there. <laughs> this is how much I put on there. I put a fair bit. I'm going to wipe show, some let off. Let me show the chat. I'm going to wipe some off. <sighs> oh, come closer. Fair bit. Okay, let's try. Okay. What is your favorite Lebanese dish and could you cook it on stream with no recipe? <laughs> also, what's so funny? I was just laughing because 
Meat um, cooking. I'm not looking forward to this. <coughs> I put too much. <laughs> I put too much this time. <coughs> I don't wipe it off. Fuck. Fucking pussies. Tapping out. I put it directly on my tongue. It. Fuck you guys. <laughs> uh. I don't even know what the question is. <laughs> my favorite Lebanese dish is shish tawuk and hummus. No, I can't fucking make it. Well, I didn't, like, from my brain. I did make hummus on stream, though, and it, it slapped. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> She's going to Lulu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Are you okay? I'm good. So what is it, Frogan? <laughs> okay. Shishtawuk is like a... <laughs> okay. Can we say for the record, we should make a hate thread on Milena because she definitely didn't eat this. I, I put sauce on it, but not as much as you stupid fucks. Why would I put <clears throat> myself through it? For the content, man. Shishtawuk is uh, like paprika-ish seasoned with other shit that I don't know is in it. And then hummus is like the chickpea spread. Oh my god, my tongue. Fucking pussies. Uh. Ow! My favorite places to get Lebanese in Michigan, Habib's is good. Oh, fuck. Or El Amir. Okay. Can I ask some questions? And this is coming from pure ignorance. Yeah, of course. So forgive me. Mm-hmm. What is the main language that you speak other than English? Or English? That, I can, so I speak you, Can English. you speak anything else? Um, I can read and write Arabic, but speaking it is kind of hard for me because so, Arabic is confusing. When you say Arabic... Is that a language? Yeah. Is that spoken in Lebanon? Yeah, there's different dialects. So there's like Egyptian, Moroccan, Lebanese, Iraqi. So it's like... <clears throat> and it's all forms of Arabic. Yeah. And Arabic is spoken... In the Middle East. In does, the Middle East. Does all countries speak Arabic there? Yeah, most of them do. Hmm. Now... Does that include parts of India and Africa? Parts of Africa, yes. India, no. India has like Urdu and okay. other languages. What uh, What language do they speak in Morocco? <clears throat> okay. So, I have a friend. His name is Esfand. He speaks Farsi, probably. He does f speak Farsi. <clears throat> is that a form of Arabic? No. 
It's completely different. So some of the letters are very similar, but like meanings and stuff, no. So is S fans language kind of like just one that like a certain group of people just kind of made up? I mean, I feel like all languages are that. Yeah, but like, does only S S fans speak his language? But he 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 has a smaller language, right? It's yeah, not that it's many not, people that speak. Yeah. So Farsi, there are people like Afghanistan speaks Farsi. Um, okay. Yeah. So it's just not it's like, S fans. Yeah, I know. Okay. Mm. Does only S fans? Can you understand Arabic? Sometimes. Like if people in chat are typing in Arabic, I can read it. If someone spoke it at you? Yeah. Like, it's different it letters. It's different le- letters, right? Yeah, different letters and uh, Can we see words. some can we see some some Arabic in the chat, guys? Wait, how many letters do you have in the alphabet? 20 something. I think 26 as well. 28. See, that one person said hi. They got timed out. Do you know how to say the alphabet? Wait, does, mm-hmm. the, does the bot auto time out different languages? Why is our bot racist, Oro? That's wild. Oro. Why do we have a racist bot? <laughs> it, but it times out in a region as well. What is she saying? Why does it always blame Oro? The bot... Times out because no mods speak the language. Oh. So I'm racist because I don't have a very diverse group of mods. Is that what you're saying? See, like, it paused on a random <clears throat> I could, like, read it. That's Turkish. Okay. Um. That's Norwegian. S- Swedish. The one that looks like Scribbles. Scribbles? Yeah. I don't see it. Like, this? right there. I've seen that before. So that's a salam keep kunya halween. That means like, hi, how are you? Like, like my fave. Oh. How do you say the alphabet? Um, is it? Is like so? Because I said it's like words, yeah. right? But I can't separate the letters. So the letter. So Arabic is really confusing in the sense of like. There's some letters that connect, there's some that don't, and they have different forms depending on where they are in the word. Yeah. Um, so the alphabet is fairly similar to English. Like there's alif, which is like A, alif ba tatha, jim hacha, dada razain, sin shin, sa, toh, the, ra, ain fa. How do you count? Count uh, to ten. Wahed, then. I don't know how to count any of So, <clears throat> can I have an American take? Yeah. That was like mesmerizing. I think, just for pure efficiency's sake, that we should all, as a world, agree to speak one language. <laughs> and whatever gets the most votes, everyone has to learn. But I do feel, though, like, so many people I've talked to online have learned English from, like, watching streams and YouTube videos, which is so crazy. It doesn't even have to be English. I'll switch it up. So we're going to speak Chinese? We'll go to Mandarin if we have to. <laughs> but we just have that to... That is literally what's going to win the vote. You know that, right? We, hey, then they, then they win. Then they win. So we just we just have to have... Because I feel like when I go out in public and someone's be talking a different language, they're talking shit about me. You just want to understand it? Because like, I see them looking at me, and they're like, ha-ha. <coughs> I'm kidding, guys. Nick, you don't happens. go in public, first of all. No, it's fine. Uh, sign language. Is sign language universal? Maybe. I don't know how to do any of it. Like, was I love you or... Never mind. What do you think about know. Helen Keller? The truth? The truth. Not a fan. That bitch is fake. Yeah, not a fan of Helen Keller. You know, she flew a plane. I don't believe that. She fucking flew a plane. <laughs> so we I'm had an incident about the moon. <laughs> They're going to think you're serious. Um, we had a moon incident and you just need to clarify. So for the record, the moon landing. All I, I'm saying I, is, how are you deaf and blind and into eugenics? What is eugenics? Basically, eugenics is racist. They want to like de. 
So basically, Helen Keller wanted to abolish blind and deaf people. You remember what XQC said a month ago? The hate thread? No, I don't remember the month ago hate thread from from XQC. Really? You you seem to remember everything. About me. I don't know what's going on with Felix. (laughs) How he did like the test and then... I'm going to step away from this territory right now. Uh, Rogan, continue what you were saying. So it's basically, it can get wild where like people basically want to abolish like certain like races or medical issues through genetics. Wait, just, so I have hip dysplasia, right? And if I ever have a girl, like if I give birth to a girl, the girl might have hip dysplasia. Do you think that's smart and, or not and smart? And you can edit that away. Yeah. Now, but Helen Keller wanted to just quit, stay on this real, real okay. quick. <laughs> now, I'm just wondering why, if me and Melina had a daughter mm-hmm. that was potential to have <clears throat> hip dysplasia and I could edit it out in a computer, why does that make me racist? No, no, like they, like it doesn't make you racist. But okay. Some people want to use eugenics for racism. Okay. Like editing it so where people won't okay. suffer in life. No, that's not bad. Um, but like gene editing is different than like eugenics. They want like pure okay. bloodline, like a pure like the Aryan race, basically. And they want to edit edit that out. What what? They is this a computer program? Is no. eugenics a computer program? <laughs> if we didn't have this? if we didn't have to step around. Um, if we don't have to s- step on our tippy toes on eggshells, we would just say that uh, some people believe that uh, some people shouldn't reproduce. But that's people have always people have told me that I shouldn't reproduce. That, <laughs> yeah, that's but you like, have the worst allergies known to man. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a Nazi thing during the Holocaust, eugenics. Oh, yeah. And Helen Keller was for that. Yeah. But how does she even know that exists if she can't even know that's going on? How she even knows the thing? She said she's fake. <laughs> she said Helen Kelly's fake as fuck. She just said it. Her, they said her handlers taught her eugenics. Wait, who's Helen Keller? She's. You don't, That's not, you that, don't know who Helen Keller is. Wait, is that different from Anne Frank? <laughs> oh no, I don't know who we're talking about. Who are we talking about? Who, who, who are we talking about here? Who, okay. who are we talking about? Please. Who are we talking about? So, you who know ta- you know when you play CSGO and people are like, <laughs> oh my God, you're playing like Helen Keller. She's the blind one. And deaf. And deaf. And she wasn't like in like, well, she wasn't part of like the, the Nazi training camps? No, no, or no. concentration camps? <laughs> Sorry. I'm so confused right now. I feel so stupid. Okay. I feel so stupid. Anne Frank is Anne Frank. Who's Helen Keller? Anne Frank was hiding from the Nazis yes. during World War II in and an attic. A, and there's a book right. about her and yes. she wrote a diary. Yes, that's Helen what I know. Helen Keller lived way before Anne Frank and she was a grown adult that was blind and deaf. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> Helen Keller? I thought I thought we were talking about Anne Frank this whole time. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't understand. Like I just. <laughs> Did you say Nazi training camp, <laughs> bro? <laughs> no, you did not. I, I'm frustrated right now because of the hot sauce. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Should I allow this to happen? So, <clears throat> wait. I feel like an idiot now. So about XQC's hate thread. <laughs> yeah. We see four against Helen Keller. Was he? He was talking about Helen Keller? No. There was an a discussion that was uh, not approached about eugenics. Because when you do this whole... I don't know if it's a morality <laughs> compact. I don't even know what test he took... I you, I just hear all these streamers around me talking about freaking LSF, man. I have not heard about eugenics until right now. 
Am I am I just a fucking moron? I'm gonna be completely honest. High school was a long time ago for you. It it was. I went to college for four years too. You don't learn about that in college. That's, I don't. I didn't learn about that's, anything. That's like sophomore year in high school. Eugenics. First semester. I have. I mean this sincerely. I went to Stony Creek High School. That word was never spoken. <laughs> Eugenics was never spoken to me. But I don't think that you learn about eugenics like when you're a child. That's something that you learn when you grow up or like go to college or or later in life where people talk about it. It's not like we don't have eugenics week where we learn about it, you know? It just comes off like slightly when you're learning about the Holocaust. Like you know how like you had the vocabulary words and shit? They don't focus on it. Like, oh yeah, by the way, eugenics happened. Anyways, so baby boom. So editing out hip dysplasia. Editing out black people. Eugenics. They want like pure bloodlines. Of what? <laughs> of like white people. Well, if they did that, the NBA would be a lot less interesting. <laughs> Are they thinking about that? Is eugenics not related to disabilities? It could be. Is it purely based so on race? So what does Hassan think about this? Eugenics, bad. Okay, I agree. So what? actually, what I've been doing for the last like couple of years is whenever there's any sort of topic that ever gets brought up and I don't know about it, I just default to whatever Hassan thinks. So we're with Hassan on this one, guys. Okay. Eugenic. Hold on. I just eugenics and gene editing are completely different things. Mm. Then why did she? You didn't know what it was either, because you told me you didn't see. You talk. See, she didn't know either. Oh, I was wrong. See, this is the problem with Melina, and this is why I kind of get their argument. If two idiots reproduce, it makes more idiots. Isn't that their argument? Because you didn't know, and you told me a lie. So maybe we shouldn't reproduce. No, that's gene, what I've been fucking no, saying. No, like oh, gene God. editing is like based because like obviously you don't want your kid to suffer. Yes. But people are getting mad with the gene editing because people are like, "Oh, like I want my kid to have blue eyes." Can you do that? Mm -hmm. That is no way. Wait, can you have a black kid with blue eyes? <laughs> Probably. But there's no way that's real, right? Wait, wait. I'm being dead serious here. How many years ago was it introduced? Because have you heard about this guy called Steph Curry? I heard Steph Curry, the basketball player. Do you think he's edited? No. no. <laughs> he plays way too good basketball. Malena. What? All men want to do is just give, have a woman give birth to a son of someone who's going to win some sort of league and live through them. Okay, can I ask you one, one final question? Let's we'll move on. Yeah. So I'm half black, half white. Yeah. My father is a white Canadian man. My mother is a Georgia lady. Okay? So it makes me 50-50. Yeah. And if me and, and then pineapple, but listen, if me and Malena were to have kids, because yeah. she's like full white, the kid would be like, 75% white. Mm -hmm. I'm not full white. What are you? I'm like part Dutch. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm okay, sorry. okay, I'm okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay, back to what I was saying. Now, the chances are that my kid would not be as brown as me, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And some could say that could be an issue. To who? Example, my child looks more like Milena. Mm -hmm. My kid goes to school, mm -hmm. learns the N-word, comes home, calls me the N-word. <laughs> so then I have to punch my kid in the face. That's a problem, right? So if I could edit that so he is as dark as me, is that eugenics? <laughs> Your dad never did that to you? Yes, I did not call my white father the N-word. 
I called him the C word, like Hassan did. Like the cunt. Cunt. Yes. <clears throat> cunt. Yes. Would it be ethical, though? That's the question. I don't know anything about ethics. <laughs> Let him cook. <laughs> All right, what's this move on? Is your is your is your mouth calmed down? Yeah, it's good. Okay, now this one this one fucking sucks. So we're not gonna hard dab this one. Okay. I am part Dutch though. I don't think anyone asked. Oh, okay. Okay, so this next one is called one. what? The bomb? No, this one. Oh yeah, that one's really good. The ranch one. Uh, Butterfly Bakery Taco Vibes only. Okay, this is six times harder than the last one. Oh damn! It's great. Yeah. Six times hotter. So let's get that question. Manolda. Here. <sighs> now it's not so I don't your hot ass breath, your hot ass stinky <laughs> breath. Melina will go days without brushing her teeth too, so it's just like that's some shit you don't really want to fuck with. I just love that you make shit up and now people think I'm disgusting. Here you go. Can I have some more tissues, please? Oh, tissues. <coughs> yeah. Instead of write my will, Monka. <sighs> Damn, I feel so stupid about earlier. I thought we were talking about a completely different person. That- I like them though. And they're from different time periods? Blind and deaf. The same, but like Anne Frank Blind and deaf already. and I've Frank read... going to the training camps, oh, dude. No. Like... no, that's too much. That's too much. Uh-oh. It's on your hands. Oh, no. Get it off your hands. No, use this. Use this. Get it off your hands. And you do not wipe your nose. If you wipe your nose with, with this sauce, it is over. So should I just like not just, just Yeah, don't use that one. It's too much. Cap, Melina. Huh? Cap. Cap what? Where's the cap to the sauce? Did you pour Wait, no, she has the cap. Oh, it's right, it's right oh. there. I need to add like a little... Can you pour a little bit? Wait, here. I tapped out. No, Melina, you cannot tap out you when you... Can you pour a little tiny bit here? Yeah, just dip dip that shit in there. Here we go. Now, let's go. Eighth question. Ninth question. Fuck. Okay. One dab. Uh, here we go. Question number nine. Ew. What the hell is that image on the, on the screen oh, there? Oh, it's Eugene. Let me see this is. Is that, you, a, is you that were, a hamster? You revealed on Twitter that you used to give your guana pigs haircuts. <laughs> Do you see that as a viable career path if streaming does not work out? Rest in peace, Eugene. Rest in peace. No. Should I, oh, God, hold on. Wait a minute. The bomb was worse, but this is painful. Hold up. The bomb was a lot worse. <laughs> Here we go again. <coughs> we have to go outside. Okay? Where? What? Do you need to go what? Take a lap. 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 Yeah. Yeah, take a lap. Take a lap. Take a lap. I can't believe you were you didn't know what eugenics was. I would request for you to stop projecting right now and stop attacking the nearest thing to you. And just take responsibility for you failing. All right, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Man, I really have just stopped learning, haven't I? The only the only thing that I've learned over like the last 10 years has been streaming related. And none of it actually matters. I have lost my ability to learn. And I apologize. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you Bro. have the lung thing? <coughs> I'm good. Do you have asthma? I do. I say, oh, shit, I I say if you're taking the puffer, I say we don't do the last one. No, I'm good. No, you're going to pussy out or you're going to die trying? You don't have to do the last one. Do it, pussy. I'm good. No, I'm good. I say we stop it on the last one. It's not worth it. 
This isn't a, She's not a bitch. Stop being a bitch. <laughs> Malena. And you know the worst thing is you put you put your mouth on that puffer and the next time you take it, you're gonna get a swig of hot sauce on that bitch. <coughs> hey, in the words of Malena, if she wants to die, she gets You know, I used to have I used to have <laughs> asthma not too. Oxy and whiskey. Frogan. Yeah. The last dab. We can stop right now. You are a champion. Hey, are you gonna quit right before the finish line? <laughs> no. Frogan. Okay. Hell yeah. Frogan. Hey, it's okay. We're gonna we, go get some Starbies after. Listen, we do not have to do this no, last we're one. No, we do it. We don't have to. We're slipping sliding. No, it's not worth no, it. No, we gotta do it. Chat, do we do it or not? I don't think we should. I can do it by my. I can do it for all of us. Do you have a super inhaler, just in case you clock out? No, I'm fine. No, okay, this, so this if you clock out, I just press it so, over and over, right? I'm and just like. I'm not gonna die. Trust. This dun, dun, this dun. last one. Another one. Bye, so duh. I have health insurance. This last one used to be so hot. It was two. <coughs> two million. Oh damn. Scoville heat units. And it was so hot that they have removed. The the number and now it's just TBA. It used to be on 2 million. It was 2 million Scoville heat units. Oh, yeah. All right, let's do it. And I'm not kidding you. This one isn't even hot. It just kills. There's no taste to it. There's Take no... Paper towel. There's no flavor. It's just heat. It's just pain. And this one's called The Last Dab. And I'm not going to lie. I have skipped this one a few times. Let's Be do it. Oh! Okay. She's in it. It popped. So that was the explosive one. That one should not be the explosive one. If, if, yeah, you want you want to get a quick sniff of it on the way by? Mm -hmm. All right, just take a quick sniff. Don't put it too close to your nose. On the under, yep, not too close. That's a little bit close. Damn. Yeah. Please your sinuses. Okay, and I just have to. I'm not trying to be weird, but. Usually when things go down, they also come out too. So there's a double pain that's going to happen in your own private time. Okay. Okay? You're okay with that? Yeah. All right. I'm just going to eat one plain. Yeah, yeah. Get get one plain to, to fix the mouth a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I will be dabbing my own. Oh, Ooh. my God. Can it I just, have some? It just came. Okay. Here we go. Just get, get a nice little baby dab. Don't do too much of this one because it's no joke. Okay. Question number 10. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Did you already eat it? I'm going to put no. it on the spot where it already hurts, so I just I don't hurt the rest of my mouth. Melina, I can fix your mouth a little bit later, okay? No, you can't. Why don't you love me the way I love you? What's the question? Okay. One, two, three. Would you be, would you ever, would you, would you, would you, <laughs> would you ever be interested in fighting another streamer in something like Creator Clash? Why, who do you think it would be a tough fight on your level that you just barely defeat? <clears throat> Oh my god. This one is just unfair. <coughs> I would love to fight in Creator Clash. I'm gonna throw up. If you're gonna throw up, got it. I'm not gonna throw up in here, trust me. I feel it, but I would love to fight in Creator Clash. <laughs> <coughs> I thought about it, like after I saw everybody fight. Yep. Yeah. It would be cool to train, but I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't know who. I would even qualify to fight, like, even at my skinny. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's say 
you can make everything equal. Mm -hmm. Anybody, anyone, man, woman, whatever, equal. Mm -hmm. Who would you want to be able to fight? Miz. Miz. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Why? I don't know. I feel like <clears throat> he's just like punchable. I mean, you're not wrong. But he's just gonna like if you hit him, he's gonna hit you the same way way back. He just like copies your movement. So it would be a pretty fair fight. Yeah, I, I want to be challenged. So let me say Trisha Paytas That'd be fucking hilarious I'd be down for that One person I wouldn't fight Is Miz Why? Is it because he's from Jersey? It's not because he's from Jersey Probably has a lot of pent up <clears throat> But if I'm Miz I'm looking for a fight <laughs> Like I just got shredded I'm jacked now Bullshit was going down I'm looking for someone to fight So <clears throat> Now, if I could fight someone, and it's all equal, mm -hmm. I think I'd want to fight Caroline. <laughs> Why? Because I think that she thinks I'm a bitch, and I'm sure who's not. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep it playing. I think I could fight Myth. Myth would kill you. I think I could fight Myth. No. Yeah. No. Myth would beat anybody. That guy's crazy. How about you, Nick? Caroline. No, be real. I think I can beat Caroline up. No, be real. Why do you only want to hit women? Because I'm not allowed to. <laughs> so you want to be allowed to? Like, I could go over to S-Fan's house right now and be like, hey, S-Fan, fight me. And we, he would just fight me. He'd be fine. No, he wouldn't. Yes, he would. S-Fan wouldn't Call fight. him right now and ask him. I think he'd like literally kill you. I'm going to go get the snacks. You know what? The last one wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Like, I felt it in my throat, but it's not as bad as the one before. Yeah. I'll call him right now. Surely he's awake. Your call has been forwarded. You said, hey, one sec, can I call you back? Okay, we missed that fan, but it is no, what it is. I think I could fight Myth easily. Hmm, I think you would be a great fight. Hmm. Yeah, Miz. Miz is a good pick. I don't think we should ever fight. I think we should all just love each other instead See, of fighting each other. You the know? reason why I wouldn't want to fight is because I wouldn't want to get rid of my nails. True. And I wouldn't want to break my nose. True. Don't do it then. Yeah. That's that's a good one. I would never be able to fight Brit, man. I would beat the hell out of Brit. I love Brit. I could not fight her. I couldn't fight Casey either. I feel like I couldn't fight anybody that would be my friend. I'm like that's like my friend. I'm gonna be real. You know, you know who'd be the easiest fight? Who? Extra Emily. She is so weak. I just push her around and she, she has nothing about it. I mean, it. we saw her fucking fly. Yeah, she did. It's Extra Emily is a free, free ass kicking. So what do we get here? <clears throat> so this is baklava. This is from like a famous bakery in Michigan called Shatila. They're known for their pastries. Okay. Um. So these are all, so it's basically a phyllo dough. Um, this one, it's just different shapes for these. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, no, I don't know what these are, but they're nuts in like pastry. That's coconut and that's something else, but they're all pretty good. And you brought this as a gift? Yeah. Wow. Ow, my knee. You never show up to houses empty handed. I agree. Is that a rule? Yeah. It's like a cultural thing. I agree with so that. So does that mean like if you're staying there or just going to visit? Both. 
So if you went over to your friend's house just for like yeah, like, a couple hours, you bring something. Well, if it's like a dinner party, it's a difference than just coming over to go to Target. You know what yeah. I mean? Not like that, but like oh. if you're like staying over there or like dinner. Which one is the best one? I personally like the fingers. These? Yeah. What is this? Looks like a croissant. This one's texture. really good. Yeah. Okay, let's try it. Bonus question: Would you rather give up your lashes for six months or be perm banned in a sans chat for a year? <sighs> Ban me. Damn. Wait, lashes or eyebrows? Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I can, actually, no. I could. I could literally take my lashes off right fucking now. I don't have, wear lashes every day. So I would die on Twitch if I didn't have Twitch. What about eyebrows? Eyebrows. My eyebrows are like shave them off or just like no product. If you had to pick one to remove forever, eyebrows or lashes. Lashes. Shit. Do it. How do you? <gasps> You don't have to. It's okay. Impulsive, All right, intrusive we're to, thoughts. Ever go to the main camera for that one? Intrusive thoughts. Now she has hot sauce in her eyes, guys. Thanks. Oh no, I don't. Don't dance game me. You look great. See, she, you can just stick them back on. Yeah, they're easy to put back on. Yo. Does it slap? I fuck with this. What is this called? Uh, baklava. Oh my god. Oh shit, this is so good. This is tasty. What is it made out of? Uh Fila dough, pistachios, uh rose water syrup. It kind of has the consistency in the middle of mar marzipan. I don't know how to say it in English. Marzipan. But it's crispy as fuck. It's nice. These are so much better than anything Norway has ever created. You asked earlier, like, why I hate you? Like, why am I catching strays right now when I'm just trying to enjoy a gift that a friend bought? I literally messaged, I was like, are you, in, I was like, are you Nick allergic to nuts? <laughs> I love nuts. Yes, you do. Oh, These ones are good. These are like 800 layer pastry. Let's try. I hope that there's no hot sauce in your eyelashes now. This Holy shit's no joke. Holy fucking shit, this is good. Try this. I like this one. No, please try it. It's better. I don't want to take a bite of it that you took no, out of it. <laughs> you are so beautiful. This is really good though. I really like it. To me, it's still crispy. Like twenty chewings later. Can't you see? So Stop, or I'm gonna fucking knock you out. <laughs> All right, well, this is really good. Ten out of ten. Slaps. I think I like this the best because it's the most crispy. That one's my favorite. The, that's also really like layered. These are different tasting. Than these three. Wait, this fan's calling me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> gotta bring this hey, you're on stream. Has to try it. Hey. Hey. Hey, this is a serious question. Okay. If I came over to your house right now, I was like, hey, can we can we fist fight? Would you fight me? Mm. Are we on stream? Yeah. Uh yes. <laughs> And it would just in like after we'd be cool, right? Uh, yeah. Well, are we on stream? Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, but what about off stream? Yeah. Yeah. You, you sure? Yeah. No. Like, what kind of fist fight? It's like a boxing fight. Yeah. I mean, if you just wanted to like uh, have fist to cuffs. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, it'd be fun. Why? Because right. I, I think that we're we're like we're that good of friends that we could just fight with fists and we'll be fine. Yeah. 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 No, I mean pretty much. So, who do you think would win, me or you? Uh, I mean, I would win. Okay. Because you're stronger than me, or I'm just. <laughs> well, I mean, I was just kind of win. I'm a, like, I'm a winner. Try this. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah. I mean, I haven't lost. I didn't lose in game day at all no. this year. True, true. So, so all right. Well, uh, I'm gonna go beat up Melina. This is cool. 
Okay, bye. Hi, bye. See? I, I thought he was going to say, let me know if you need help. Yeah, that'd been funnier. All right. <clears throat> um, Brogan, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for coming here. I've had a blast with uh, you visiting here. I've had so much fun. Thank you for Yeah, having thanks me. for doing the ringer. She's done everything. She cooked. She did all three of our favorite things that we do here, streamers and cars, and mm -hmm. scuff ones. So thank you. Anything you want to say to the chat, you can say it now. I'm going to go turn off the stream in the other room. They can hear you for like 35 more seconds. Okay. You guys had fun with me here. Um, I go live every day, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. So if you want to come chill with me, cozy vibes. She goes live late. Frogan. She watches a lot of fun shows as well. Yeah, I do a lot of reality TV reacts, um, vibing, you know. But I had fun with you guys. You guys have been so fucking funny. I'm not going to lie. Funny chat. Like, and Nick and Melina are such great fucking hosts. I love them both. I hope you've enjoyed your time. I did. I had so much fucking fun. I don't know if she was still talking or not. Couldn't hear. Uh, Russell, what's up, man? Russell, why do we never hang out, dog? All right. I got to go. I got to go. <laughs> I, che I checked Oro's DM. She goes, don't fucking steal my questions, jackass. Jesus Christ. Unbelievable, man. Yeah, remember, if you guys had fun today, hit the follow button and all that jazz. Everyone have a great day. I had super fun. We will see you when we see you. Everyone, thanks for being here. Godspeed, good luck, and we'll see you guys later. Bye, everybody. See you guys later.